What's going on, everybody? I'm back, man. I had to get my I had to get on my laptop, man. My phone wasn't cutting it, bro. The phone wasn't cutting it. I don't know what was going down on the phone, but the phone was not working. So oh my god, bro. I am so mad right now, bro. I am so mad. I am so mad right now. I don't know, my light cutting off, man. I had to rush all of this. Smash that like button. Share the live, man. Share the live, man. This is... Smash the like button as soon as y'all coming in the building, bro. It's not that bad, man. Why you mad, bro? Cormani was my favorite player, bro. Cormani was my favorite player, bro. I'm hot. I'm super duper mad right now. Let me um let some more people get into the building before we get back into this thing. Don't be mad, bro. Don't be mad, bro. Bro, like. Bro, this is. This is horrendous right now. I mean, like, bro, like, I'm so mad, bro. Smash the like button as soon as y'all come in, man. We finna get back into this thing, man. Can you blame him? I don't know, man. So he really, he really leaving, bro. He gone. He really, he's leaving. He gone, bro. It is for real. It is for real, bro. Smash that like button as soon as y'all come into the building, man. Smash that like button, man. Smash that like button, bro. <clears throat> These last few weeks showed it off. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. It did. It showed it showed a bunch, bro. It showed a bunch, bro. It showed a lot, man. It did. But just like I was saying up on the last live, bro, I was getting reports pretty much from, like, this past month. This past month, I was getting reports about Kermani possibly leaving. I didn't want to believe it, bro. Now, I'm not saying that the team or the cornerback room is bad because he's gone. I'm just saying it's just bad in general that Carmani is leaving. I'm not saying that the team is the uh, team is gonna do bad. I'm not saying none of that. I'm just saying it's bad that Carmani is leaving the team. What skill set did he show? We don't know yet. You know, he didn't see like I know towards the later half of the season, he was starting, he was playing, he was looking good. The whole nine. I mean, the whole works. He was starting and everything, bro. But for him to hit the portal like this, bro, we'll go somewhere and he can have it. Who just said that? It's all good. Tra yeah, it's so like we still got DJ. We still got Trav. I think we still got Amorian Cooper. I'm not saying that the team is going to be bad at all at the cornerback position. We're not saying that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying it's bad that Carmani is gone, and that's not a good thing, bro, to me. That's that is my only, you know what I'm saying? That's my personal opinion. That's my personal opinion, bro. I think it's bad that Carmani gone, bro. I got to keep it real. I ain't, come on here and lie, bro. Man, I really just wanted him to, to meet Prime. Yeah. You know, like, I just feel like it's not a good thing that Carmani is gone. Look, man. So, Elijah, we can't sit up here and say that Carmani wanted it easier somewhere else. We don't know why the young man left. All we know is that he gone. He gone now. We don't know why he left, why he packed up his bags and wanted to leave. We don't know yet. I do know he did have a death in his family, though. His mom did confirm that a couple of days ago. He did have a death in his family. So I'm sending prayers out to Carmine McLean, Miss McLean, and his sister. Big prayers out to the whole McLean family. 
you know, but as of right now, it ain't, you know, it ain't a good day, bro. I'm sorry. Y'all could be, you know, people going to come up where Carmani didn't want to compete. Carmani. We don't know that. We don't know if, 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 if that was the case. All we know is Carmani hit the portal. And I'm not making excuses. I'm keeping it real, bro. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping I'm keeping it real. We're not making excuses for him. Somebody said, go add me on live, John, bro. We can talk again. They said, tape, don't lie. That is not the reason for you to throw your whole life away. Man, we don't know why he leaving, bro. Everybody's speculating. And just like I said on the last damn live, I said this on the last live. I'm pretty sure Cormani is going to drop a video, do an interview. He going to do something to let us know why he party ways with Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes. He, you, you know, I just feel like he owes us that a little bit. You know, let us know what happened as, as, as a fan base. Let us know what happened, bro. Like, was it playing time? Was it NIL? Like, why you hit the portal, bro? You know, like, was it even about your number? You know, everybody know Kermani were number seven. He's seven, for real. He's you know, was it because of the seven? Did he want to be, you know, Cam or seven? You know? To be honest, hold on. Somebody said, I don't think he can handle John. Are you, are you so SEL, my girl? I don't know, man. Somebody said he don't meet the standard. Come, look, y'all, we can't get on here and bash Kermani like he ain't a bona fide player. Because we all, we all was rooting for Kermani at that damn UFC game. And so we're not going to get on here and bash Kermani, bro. Because we all seen him balling at that UFC game. Right or wrong. we Look, bro, we can't get on here bashing Kermani, bro. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that, bro. Y'all want to get on here and bash him, but when nobody saying that at that damn USC game when he shut down Brendan Rice, when he uh, uh, Brendan Rice, so we all gonna act like we forgot. So we all gonna act like we forgot. Now, what went down at practice, you, you know, that's practice. But we all seen what Kermani could do in the game, right or wrong. We seen what he, what, what, what he was able to do in the game. Somebody, hold on. What did he say? Don Chris say, no bash. Listen, bro, it's bigger loss for him than us. Put all the superficial stats, grades, or even alleged work put in. Come on, add me. Let me explain. All right, bro. I'm going to add you on here real quick. I want to see what you got to say. I want to see what you got to say. Hold on, bro. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to add you on here. I'm going to drop a link down in the chat. Hold on. Look. Whenever y'all get on here, bro, don't be cursing. No none of that. I don't want to know none of that. I'm not in the best of moods right now. John Liquidator ain't in a good mood right now. So my my patience is very slim. My patience is slim today. You know, I, I just got to keep it real. So Brody said he want to come on here. He, he said he want to come on here and share his thought about this. Y'all know, look, everybody in the world know, dog. Court money was my dog.
damn, man. Hold on. So many people jumping on here at once. So many people. So many people. Hold on. Where old boy at? Where old boy at? Old boy said that he wanted to jump on here with me. Click on the link. Click on the link. Bro, I've been rocking with Carmani since day one, bro. Since day one, bro. Since he was in high school, bro. What you saying? You know, I feel like I kind of helped recruit him, bro. I'm mad, bro. I'm mad today. Damn. Things will never be the same for me. Never be the same for me, man. It's crazy, bro. Where old boy at? Click on the link, man. Look. Somebody said, dog, I just unfollow, bro. So I'm like, hey, look, why you unfollow Carmani, bro? You ain't have to unfollow him, bro. Now, I know everybody big, like, like the whole big question is, John, would you still make videos on Kermani? Yes! Yes! I'm still going to report on Kermani. Whether he with Coach Prime them or not, John the Liquidator is going to still report on Kermani. I'm sorry. I rock with Kermani as a person, too. So, I'm still going to make videos on him, bro. I'm still going to make videos on him, bro. Everybody going to have to be mad, bro. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Yes, bro. All right. So I got a lot of people down here, man. I want to bring, I mean, since old boy ain't coming here, I'm going to just give everybody a chance to come on here and share their thoughts about my dog, Kermani, parting ways with the team, man. I wish him nothing but the best. Um, Kermani, it's been an honor, bro, covering you. For this last almost two years, bro. No, I think it has been about two years, almost, covering Kermani, man. So it's been an honor covering him, meeting him, seeing your mom at the games. And um, I got a bunch of people backstage. Hey, look, man, before y'all get up here, bro, I want to let you know. I want. I just got to keep it real. My patience, slam. No Kermani bashing too bad. Just keep it real. Keep it real. You know, no cursing. And we finna have fun, man, a little bit, you know, because my pace is slim today, bro. Like, it's it's damn, dog. Hold on, man. Who do I want to pick on, bro? What's up, bro? Hello, sir. How you feel about Kermani, man? Man, I'm so glad you added me because I have a, an opinion on what's going on right now. Okay. So, as, like, for me, as a former student and a former athlete. I went to Division II, played, uh, might I add you, complete different sport. He played football. I ran track. But, like, I want to add my opinion. As a okay. former athlete, as someone who uh, had issues, like, you know, being in school with my attitude and, and whatnot, I understand where air, why everybody you know is frustrated with him? They wanted him to fix his attitude. But Bro, also, how do we even know Kermani had an attitude? We don't know that. But you know, it's like you kind of realize the things he's posting online, like with his cryptic messages and and whatnot. Okay. Like you know, like if if I'm him, with him responding to the haters, posting like tidbits of like YouTube videos here and there, and they're posting on what, what he just recently posted on his Instagram about right. like you know those little type of stuff it's it can it can go far no matter if he's talking about Chris Prime if he's not talking about him or not it can go far people will look at it as a different thing like you gotta realize other coaches will also look at it as like oh maybe this man does have attitude issues right and like you know I feel like he just needs a fresh start I feel like what he needs to do is probably go talk to his mom probably go to like you know just take a break from school go talk to like another go to a different school we start a whole refresh and just you know reevaluate like his decisions and stuff i feel like that's what he needs to, that's what he need to do all right brody i appreciate your opinion shout out to you bro i want to get somebody else on her i want to get old boy man he was all like man i know so much man where are you where you go bro hold on he been in here for a minute. What's up with you, man? 
What's the deal, bro? What's the deal? You can hear me? Man, today is is just one of them days for me, dog. Hey, look, like man, the, thing, the thing what I was saying about Kamari, uh, old buddy, bro. For one, old buddy, like his attitude, like bro, just say his attitude was worse, bro. Nobody like well off didn't even want to put how we know that though, dog. How we know he had an attitude. Look, 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 well off didn't even want to put him on TV. He didn't even want to be on the well off show. You know what I'm saying? Like you moving like that, you ain't even want to be on the you too good for that, bro. You know what I mean? Bro, you wasn't even in the gone. You ain't even get in a lineup last year, bro. As a number one, what's what's number seven to seven nine? He gonna start. The first talking about Jordan, Jordan, Jordan C. He gonna start. He was number one, right? Bro, right, you didn't right, even start right. last year, bro. You were number one. You over here whining. He a mama's boy. He thought he gonna go somewhere else to start. But you made Deion Sanders look bad. Deion Sanders took it, you know what I'm saying, put his time in it for you. And then you dead it well off like you too good to be goddamn gone posted on well off. Bro, get gone. He cool. He was he good. He made Deion gone. look good because Deion brought him in. And that was Deion first big, you know what I'm saying, shebang. So yeah, man, like, like, I just feel like, bro, the media is finna twist and turn this in so many different ways, bro. And, like, nobody know the real reason why Brody got up out of there, right? He ain't I starting. just feel like he wasn't going to start, bro. He wasn't going to start. He he wasn't no dog like Dion wanted, bro. Dion it's probably so, wanted Dion probably that Coach Pryor possibly wanted him gone. Man, yeah, he didn't want to deal with that, bro. Yeah. I don't know, man. Bro, he did not, bro. Would you deal with that, bro? Would you deal with that? I don't care if you, Dion is, Dion got dang on. He coming in there like, bro, I don't care if you number one. I don't care if you number right. six. If you a dog, you a dog. I believe in you. I believe in you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? He made Dion look real bad, bro. Real bad. Get yeah. gone. Get he gone, said, bro. get gone. Get I, gone. Damn, I, dog. Bro. I guarantee you, bro. Mark my words, bro. He's not going to start. And so you telling me whatever next institution he go to, whether it's Florida State, Miami, he ain't start. But he wouldn't have started if he would have went to Miami instead of Colorado. It's just the person he is. So basically, in so many words, right, dog, you telling me you believe Cormani is a flop. Yes. Wow. wow. Look at him right now. Wow. You saying you believe he a flop? Yep. Yep. Bro, you ain't get, wow. he ain't get, on, he ain't get on the field yet last year, bro. We were sorry. We were sorry, bro. And you think he gonna get on the team that's some dogs? Man, they gonna bully that little uh little baby up out of there, bro. Wow. He act like a straight child. I understand he young. That's right. cool, but it's a lot of young dudes that's coming in here. They got, you know what I'm saying, some gojones. Right. He ain't have. And I appreciate you allowing me to come on here, boy. I watch hey, you hey look, bro. Hey. Anybody that want to come up here, hop up here, man. I'm going to drop another link. Y'all can state y'all opinion, bro. This is why I got the channel, bro. I'm the voice of the streets. Yeah. And so y'all get on here and just let me know how y'all really feel, bro. Hey, my, this first is time ever, hey, my first time ever being on anybody live, bro. And shout out to my boy John, the liquidator. You yes, know it's sir. all love, hey. dog. You yes, know what sir. it is. Yes, sir. Shout out to you, man. I got old boy back here. He been back here for a minute. What's up with you, Brody? Hey, what up, G? You hear me? Yeah, yep, yep. I got you, dog. Hey, man, What's we round up, two on man? this combo, man. Listen, listen, listen. First of all, let me start off by saying this. I got no issue with Cormani, okay? Okay. Her, just Like I said, take away all the rumors and put all that to the side. Right. Other than the USC game, what did he really do? He got cooked against Arizona State. He got cooked against Arizona. He got cooked pretty much every other time. That one game is the game he stepped out and really did one or two big plays, but they just happened to be really important. So they pumped it up real heavy. On paper, he got everything. He tall, right. he fast, he quick, he rangy. That boy got long arms. If he got his mind right, he'd get locked in. But think about it, bro. Coach Prime had to say something publicly about his behavior. He didn't start right away because of the things that he had going on or whatever he was doing. Then, like an old boy before me just said, like, bro, how everybody in the well-off and the, and the reach the people media videos, but you want to duck off or do your little quick little what's up and hit it. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? So my thing is like, I'm looking at it, and trust me, I wanted him to be good because him and Travis, dog, Nasty, shut bro. down city. But again, he, he, what has he really done statistically? Now we can talk about the other stuff too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's my only issue with him. And the problem is, he gonna go somewhere else. Probably gonna start just because of his former five star rating. But you remember, if you do, you and I know you do your research, bro. I know you hey. look at this stuff up. Five star recruits have the highest probability of busts in any category. It's so, it's so basically, bro. You saying the same thing, old boy said. Y'all saying that Carmani McLean, five star. Polk County, he a bus. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. Remember, I said okay, I rock okay, with him. Okay, okay, As okay. of right now, oh, his resume oh, is like. I just want to clear that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. Ain't never no hate on the young man. Like I said, I wanted to see him shine. Because I want any anything that make Colorado better, bro. I'm riding with Prime all day long. But again, right. he he what did he do? What has he done that was a significant on the field? Because again, he got like cooked by third rate receivers. I feel and like think about it's this. Gonna take, it's it's going to take for Carmani to come out and say something. I feel like he will have to let us know why he left because once again, it's all speculation. Everything is all speculation. Some people said it's his character. Some people said he was lazy. Some people said it was grades. We <laughs> don't know. We won't know until we hear it coming out the horse's mouth. That being Carmani McClain. But look, here's the thing. You 100% right. I'm with you on that. That's why I'm not talking about any of the rumors. I'm talking about stats on the field right. action. Because let's right. be honest, bro. We still building. Colorado ain't where they need to be all the way live. And yes. if he can't start behind Travis Hunter, that means it's two, three players better than him, according to the coaching staff. Otherwise, he'd be on it. Because even Coach Prime said it in one of the interviews. He say, what'd he say? He say, uh, he said, I'd be a fool to put him out there if he don't know what he's doing. So how does okay. he not know? It ain't like he ain't that practice like everybody else. Or is he? It ain't like he ain't been coached the same way everybody else is. Travis figured it out. Everybody else figured it out. Shiloh figured it out. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's like, again, my issue isn't with him as a player. He got everything necessary to be a stud. Right. But what has he done on the field other than them two big plays? Name one more. I don't know, man, but I got a bunch of people hitting me up, bro. Yeah. I appreciate you jumping on here. I got to get some more people on here, man. My dog, Big LT. What's going on with you, Chico? I don't know what's going on with you, guys. Hold on, man. I can barely hear you, Big LT. Is it too slow? It sounds static-y like. Oh, okay, let me come up here. That sound better? It still sounds staticky. It sounds staticky? Well, let me leave yeah. out and come back. It sounds staticky like. Well, I'm going to leave out and I'm going to come back. All right. What's up with you, dog? You, you the man! You the man! You the doo doo! <laughs> hey, 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 boy, you're wrong for that, John. Listen. <laughs> you're wrong for that. Hey, listen. What up, All man? I got to Cremati, man. I wish bro luck, but bro wasn't gonna start. He wasn't gonna start, bro. bro we got a few many dogs. Like no, it's the truth. I love that dude, but he wasn't gonna start, bro. We got number eight. He doing this thing, number twenty four, and then they gonna right. move Travis in the nickel. Come on, bro. He was gonna he was gonna have to come off the bench, and I don't think bro want to come off the bench. And so you saying that he wasn't gonna start? That's why he leaving. That's why he's leaving. That's the only thing that makes sense. And, and other than the coaches being tough, there's no other reason to leave. You at right. DBU, you got the best DB in history as your coach. And, and that can't keep you. It's because he can't start. There's too many long bodies. Coach Prime like long bodies. So he went and got two more commodities. And he might get another one in the, um, in the transfer portal. He okay. just got to wear it. And so with you saying that, right? Do you think he can go to another institution, another program, and possibly become a starter somewhere else? If they don't got no good DBs, yeah. But if he go to Alabama, the U, Georgia, Oregon, right? You're you sitting the bench, or you're gonna be in the um slot. 
That's a so fact. you saying that basically he should move to nickel. Yeah, it, it, be like Travis, yeah. Man, I don't know, man. I appreciate you though, bro. I'm gonna get somebody else over here. Appreciate you, bro. Big LT. I sound better. Yeah, oh yeah, there you go, dog. I got you okay, now. Okay, okay. Appreciate you, John. Uh man, uh my opinion on it, man. I, I agree with the uh the first two callers, uh the, the light skinned cat and the guy before him, man. Um yeah. Like they said, man, I, I think Prime put come on. If you look at the be honest, man. He, he set everything up for Kamani. Like like the dude said, you got number one coming in. You didn't have to earn it. He gave it to right. him. He gave, I mean, I mean, Tom didn't even give not one DB and uh, not one play on defense at Jackson State, the number one. Not one. Not nobody on defense got that number one. And you got a mannequin. He set you up as part, part of the big four. Right. Come on, man. And then, um, like, like he said, man, I think he, he has to work on his work ethic too, man. We all seen that in the Woodlock videos. We can hear the coaches getting on to you for half squatting, half, half, half doing the reps, not running. You know what I mean? You out there on defense getting cooked. Like he said, he was getting cooked on them. I mean, I'm not here to bash him. I'm not here to bash him. Right, Because I, right, right. I, I think he's uh, going to be a good kid, man. If he goes somewhere where he's comfortable, like I said, I think that the, the coaching – might have been uh too hard for him. I don't think he built like that to be honest. So, really. so basically, Big LT, you saying that with the amount of pressure and having all these all these NFL caliber coaches, because at the end of the day, Coach Prime gonna make everybody compete. He don't care five three, it don't matter. And right. you saying that the coaching itself could have played a part in him hitting the portal. I no. I mean, it depends how he was receiving the coaching. If he was receiving it as coaching and not just listening and not just listening to the uh the, the base of somebody's voice and taking it all when he wouldn't receive me. I don't to be honest, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real. I don't think he's coachable. I don't think he's coachable because like he said, everybody else is receiving it and taking it but him. Everybody else got it but him. You right. know, like he said, I mean, they didn't they didn't already replace you. They got uh um McKinney coming in and they uh, recruited three long corners. Three of them. That should let you know he prime had it set, wanted it set up and had it playing and playing was obviously had McKinley, him McKinley on the outside and Travis and uh Hodge in the um, in the inside. Right. He, he messed that up. You, he already said, like the boy said, you're not watching film. Then it ain't that was the first prime first thing that he said last year because the kid yeah. ain't watching film yeah. and not showing up to meetings. You're missing meetings. You know what I mean? You, you're missing your position meetings, bro. You get run, you get ran to the ground by your coach for doing stuff like that, man. All this type of stuff gets you ready for the league. Wherever he go, he's going to take that. That work ethic is going to travel with him. You know what I mean? I, I think he could probably be a starter if he goes somewhere. But if he goes to a top-notch school like old boy said, I don't think he's going to start there. He'll probably start at a UCF, maybe. And so, you know what I mean? basically, big LT, right? You saying that by him messing up with Coach Prime, them that could tarnish him moving forward, basically. Maybe it depends. Now I don't think it's going to tarnish him as far as how the other uh, the other program will receive him. I think it probably it, it can probably mess up his um his, maybe his mental or you know maybe he might uh change sides and uh and. and and uh and, and and you know get it together and, and want more, man. Right. You know right. I I just think he he gotta want it more. If you watch a lot of the go back and watch a lot of them play, like you said, the Arizona State game, Arizona game, he didn't want it. Anytime, any anytime you letting somebody, you know what I mean? You beat they beat you on them crossing routes and them slants so much like right. that, man. They, I mean, come on, bro. Come on, and like I said, I, I, he might be a little bit of a mama's boy and expecting stuff to give him to him. Oh, come on, Big a, LT. I mean, come on, bro. You kind of throw him up. Bro, we can't I mean, do him like that. Ah, uh, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. But, I mean, it was stuff, everything was laid out for him, though, man. He got the number one laid out for him. And all, everything was laid yeah. out for him, man. You know, he started, when he came in the, uh in his first, what, first two couple of weeks there, he was damn near starting. Yeah. Then, yeah. then yeah. what? Once the, the work ethic starts sinking in, they start seeing them out there. That's when he starts sliding out of that position. Now, now, Big LT, 
do you think Carmani should go public and let us know what happened? Why he decided to leave? No, because if you weren't going to no, because if you weren't going to do it on well off or any of them other websites, then you don't need to go public. And then, you know what I'm saying? You just came out. You just came out the other day and said. I lost you, Big LT. I lost you. Uh, hold on, bro. Uh, give me one second. Hold on, Big LT. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring somebody else up. What's going on, dog? Now, what's up? What's up? These bad habits ain't just started. This was started in high school. Coach Prime is a realist. He's not gonna let one player come and break rules. He has been enough to me. Whereas Coach Prime should have put him in a. Uh, let him go. Hopefully, Coach Prime let him go. He can't come out and go public because all he did was break rules. That's all he did was break rules. He have not done anything. I don't. I never liked his energy. He is soft, and the the moment a job is too big for him, man. Coach Prime is raising sons. They are manageable. Right. They say yes, sir, no, sir, all that type of stuff. Coach Prime ain't putting up with that mess. Go back home. I'm glad wow. he's gone. I'm tired of talking about him, man. You glad he's gone? Yes. Listen, listen to this real fast. All he did was break rules. That's it. We don't and know that. Coach Prime put him on blast. We don't know that definitively. Yes, we do. Coach Prime said it out of his mouth. He break rules. He ain't going to class. He ain't going to film study. So I'm going to tell you what Coach Prime did. He made a promise to the boy mama. Say, I won't add him no more. I won't add him no more. That's why Coach Prime ain't say nothing. He ain't got to say nothing. Head left, buddy. Goodbye. I'm so glad he gone. I don't know what to do. You, you, Goodbye, you know, man. You're going to tell me you glad Carmine gone off the team. I'm glad he gone. All he do is wow. break the rules. He is not going to ask to a team, the poison to a locker room. If 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 Coach Prime show one equals that he showing favoritism, they break the locker room up. Get him out of here, man. I'm glad he gone. I've been standing on Mad Dog Channel. I want him gone, man. I want him gone. He finally gone. Goodbye. It's we ain't so missing nothing but a headache, but a headache and a rule book. It's so I'm not gonna speculate what I think because I'm not gonna be focused like that. And so you telling me Carmani was. Basically, a locker room poison, locker room drama. That is your belief. He was a liability. He, now that, these facts, these facts, the facts are proof of himself with what Coach Brown said. He is a liability. He wasn't an asset to the team because we couldn't use him. You a businessman. You had a business before from your own testimony. If you got somebody blessed on the job and playing around, you going to Donald Trump. Go. Oh, he mad. Keep it 100, John. You a businessman. He was yeah. a liability. I'm a truck driver. Yeah, if I can't I get the loans on there, my ass out of here. I appreciate you jumping on here, brother. I appreciate you. I'll let you get back on the road. Brody, man. Hold on. I got somebody else on here. What's going on, brother? Hey, what's happening, man? He, uh, Kermani was homesick. You think it okay? And so you saying that you believe he was homesick? That's the reason why he decided to lead the team. You can tell by his body language. Okay, okay. Now, with that being said, right? You think he gonna end up on a Florida team? I think so. I think that's what he want to do. Probably he was from Polk County. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. His body language in the last video I seen him doing his workouts, he wasn't serious. He wasn't into it. Then he was with the females uh, uh, on another show. I mean, on another uh, video. Right. He was homesick. That's what I think. That's my opinion. And so what is your thoughts about him leaving the team? Do you feel like he's a detrimental loss for us? No. Because like the other guy said, he really wasn't doing nothing. He just had that one good game against, was I think it was USC. That's the only game he really did anything. Right. But so, I, I wish him well. I wish the best of him, but he homesick. I just, I just, 
I just want him to come out and tell us, bro. Because I don't want to sit around here. Everybody's going to be speculating for the next two months, two, three months. Why Carmine left. It's going to be a bunch of rumors. Everybody's going to play with the man name. Right. I just feel like we should get some reason to why he left. But I don't want it to come from the organization. I want it to come from him. Right. It's I don't want to hear now. what teammates said. I don't want to hear what coaches said. I don't want to. I want to hear what he got to say. Right, right. You know, Will, uh, brother, I appreciate you coming on here, rocking out with me, man. What's going on, man? Hello, hello. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh my bad, my bad. How you doing, bro? <laughs> I'm pretty Sorry, good, I'm out, man. Wow. I'm I'm pretty good. I, I'm I'm actually a fan of the channel, man. I, I don't know much about football. I've been following um the Buffs um last year, you don't last know season. Much about... Yeah, I don't know much about. I'm a, I'm from Jamaica, so much about soccer. Oh, okay. But I, you know, I, tu I tune into your channel a lot, you know and I mean, get a few okay. updates from um from Colorado, Colorado, Colorado Buff. Um, but yeah, I know a little about Carmani. I've been I know I get information from your channel, you know. So right, I know a little right, right. him, but and, and, he and, and I appreciate you, bro. And so, what is your thoughts with Kermani leaving, bro? How do how do you feel as a fan of the team right now today? My opinion is um, he's probably homesick. That's one reason we probably leave. And then also, Coach Prime did came out and said that um, players not um keeping up to the playbooks. They're not watching films, and. His name was one of the first things that popped up in my head because I think Coach Prime had an issue with him not watching film as well and uh, not taking training serious. So, right. I mean, if he, if he leaves the team, it's not a big loss. I mean, there's other players. Uh, um, based, on right. what, uh, based on what I watch on Coach Prime documentary and also um, uh, Well Off Media, um, YouTube channel as well as, um, I can't remember, Darren, next good uh, YouTube Reach channel. The people. Reach the people media and as also your channel as well. Um, based on what Coach Prime, the type of person I see Coach Prime, I was seeing that he would definitely get a replacement for him. And there are probably someone is already there to replace him. So it's not a big loss to uh, um to to the team. I mean, like in Jamaica, we say you have to suck so to wooden spoon. You know, you're going to go somewhere, it's going to be difficult. They're going to go to somewhere different, it's going to be difficult first time. But if you stick to stick to the training, believe in the coach. Believe in yeah. what the coach doing. Believe, uh, believe in yourself. You will definitely make it through. You know what I mean? Everybody have to go through rough patches. You know what I mean? And to, to, for you to be a strong man, you have to be go through difficult situation, difficult times. You know. So, right. I mean, if he do, if he do leaves, I don't think he be um be going into any um team that is like top five, top four, because if he do have a toxic um. Toxicity about you. If you're a very toxic person, you're gonna carry that with you as well. You know what I mean? If you, if you, if you're not willing to change yourself, you know what I mean. So, right. he, like I said, like I said before, uh, we don't know the real reason for him right, leaving. Right. And, we and, don't and, know. And and once again, like I was saying, we gonna have to find out, bro, because everybody is gonna be speculating. Everybody's gonna have all these different scenarios. Oh, this is why he left. People gonna be making yeah. videos, just speculating. I don't want no speculation, dog. Yeah, it it, it has to come from the from the players himself, and then if the coach want to refute it, then that's that's it. You know what I mean? But it has to come from from Kamar himself. You know the reason why he leaves and. To be honest, I, I I don't see him in the um in the well off media videos right. and also Darren videos that gave me the idea that he's probably when when I heard that um is in the um is in the window I was like yeah I know that he was gonna leave you know what I mean it's not right. a big surprise to me to be honest and it right. should be no surprise to anyone you know it should be hey, look, bro, I'm shocked I'm shocked I ain't even gonna lie I ain't, I, 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 I am I am profoundly shocked today. But I watch, with all I, that being said, brother, I appreciate you jumping on here with me, man. Oh, man no, no problem, man. I do, like I said, I do enjoy watching the channels, you know what I mean? And I'm so, I do subscribe to your channels, so keep up the thank good work, you, you thank know? You, thank you, Brody. I appreciate uh, you. Shout out to Jamaica, man. All right, let me get him on here. What's up with you, man? You on here live with John Link with that? What's going on, John? What's going on, man? Today is just not a good day for me, man. The sun's starting to shine on me, bring me a little joy, but... <laughs> But other than that, well, though, 
bro, I'm surprised. I didn't know Kamani was even. I know he had issues from day one because Coach Prime said it in the doggone conference. Cormani is holding Cormani back. Right. And then it's like the other guy said, we, he, he wasn't at no meetings, no practices. He doing – who does midnight? Yeah, we don't he, know that definitively. We can't – But he wasn't on no videos. Like they said, he, he wasn't being seen during the day. They, we somebody we said don't he know academic. that definitively that Cormani won that practice and won that meetings. But he doing midnight workouts by himself? Come on now. I guess who, do, who does work out meeting by itself? <laughs> He's out with the team. He wasn't even seen with the team. I mean, unless Coach Prime or he or him, he himself say why he not with the team or why he jumped in the portal, we can only speculate. Bro, I just feel like it's going to be a lot of headlines coming out in the next 48 hours in regards to this Carmani situation. Yeah. I think it's going to be so bad, this Carmani situation. Not just bad for the team. I don't want to say that. I right. think it's just going to be a bad press situation. This is yeah. bad press. And so yeah. in press, we got this thing where where we call good press, bad press. Yeah, yeah. This is bad press. Yeah. And he has to like show for himself at college. This is going to be a bad press week. Even though the portal's open all of that, man. Carmani leaving is big time news, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Because Coach Prime landed him was a statement. That was yeah. a statement to the foundation of his yeah. football team, showing yeah. the world what he was trying to build. Yeah. Now I know, just like you know, the team is straight. Yeah. Oh, Media yeah. ain't finna make it like that. Nah, nah. And Carmani didn't live up to the hype either. He held himself back. You know, Prime said it. You know, but but I appreciate you jumping on here, man. I want to give somebody else a chance to jump on. Right. If anybody want to jump on, man, I'm gonna drop a link down in the chat. You can jump on here right now. Let me know your thoughts about Kermani McClain hitting the NCAA transfer portal. What's going on, brother? You're on here live with John Liquidator. Well, he got off. What's going on, bro? You're on the live with John Liquidator. Hello? Oh, what's going on? What's going on now? What's up with you, man? You're on here live. What's the word, hey, bro? Hey, hey, man. I'm glad he left, man. He don't he fit. He don't fit. He don't fit. He don't fit with the I'm I'm look, I'm oh, I'm, I'm watching the videos. I'm like, why he showing all these boys in the locker room with their shirt off and that that that's a whole holly weird type of atmosphere to me. He don't fit that. He 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 looked innocent, he looked quiet, like I just want to go to work. I ain't trying to be in front of no cameras, man. I ain't trying to show you all my gear. I ain't trying to stunt. I ain't trying to, you know, fit the mold. You know, he 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 brainwashing half of them players ain't even the personalities that, that they're displaying. They're trying to get it like. I want to fit in. I want to be like Coach Prime and be all rah rah. Yeah. He don't. He don't. He don't fit. I'm glad he left. I was telling him to stay private. Don't make no videos of you working out. Work out. Go it's to the so, league. Get rich. Everybody so, don't got. Everybody don't. He he. It's like he forcing. He's forcing people's personality to come out. That everybody ain't. Everybody ain't got that. Right, everybody ain't got like Travis wearing pajamas, like billionaires and stuff. When they look at that, they like, yeah, we can take advantage of him. They like that stuff, man. They like when you ain't strong minded and so what you not you putting up a, a a force field or something. It's so yeah, like, what I, gave I, you I, I, the I like that. Yeah, right? so I don't even gotta watch you no more. <laughs> it's so. You said that Kermani didn't have it, right? What was the first inclination that told you, you know what, dog? He ain't got it. We need him gone. I can what see told it. You that I, as I can see it. When, when, they, when, they, when he was first talking about promoting him, as soon as I saw this kid, I'm like, yeah, he don't fit. He don't. That ain't. That ain't. That that ain't the mode. That that ain't the mo. I can see it on him. I can, just like dude, I can see it. So he didn't put right. himself in the hole. He probably was trying to figure out how the hell can I get out of this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 
I don't want to be up here with all. I don't want to be up here around all of this. I so thought it was somewhere said, quiet. I thought it was going to be a quiet. I'm going to work on my game. I ain't know you're going to bring everybody from around the world up here around me while I'm trying to work. That, I wouldn't even send a ch I wouldn't even send a youth up there. I wouldn't even send. Like, like a, <laughs> you can't be like Coach Prime anyway. And so you saying that with the cameras, with the so many views on YouTube, it. people making videos about you every day, you saying the pressure was too much no, for him? No, 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 no pressure. <laughs> no pressure on him. He, he, ju it's just not him. It ain't. It, it's not in him. You can look at him and see like he don't talk much. He don't right. do any of that. If, if, so, you, if, if that's not you, if that's how you're built, people actually have to respect that. And they so actually moving, have to so do moving it. forward, right? Do you think let's say that oh, you're he, right? He, let's say that you're right, for example. Moving forward, do you think we would get another player like that? Um and and this to could me, possibly his, to me, his, another his, type his, of his, um, his Coach Prime recruiting style, he recruits players that's not going to actually um, talk back to him. So he's actually getting that. he's actually getting players that are soft at heart that's going to buy into everything that he says. So he has to use a lot of motivation to try to turn their minds into something else. Right. And we and we actually in it. We in a whole other realm. We out of the motivational speaking. So players want to know what the hell do I do? Because I saw Kamani, man. He he has a rare talent. It's like put me out there. I figure that shit out while I'm on the field. Oh, I gotta let you go, brother. Can't curse, man. Can't curse. Can't curse. <laughs> What's going on, man? You're here live with John Liquidator. Hey, what's going on, John, man? I'm I'm a huge fan, man. I appreciate the um, love, man. My take on that, man, is honestly, um, I definitely disagree with your man's. Okay. He's like, you know, it's too much. I like really, if you know anything about anybody that's coming to to Colorado beforehand, right. uh at at uh, uh Jackson, it was it was it was crazy at Jackson. It just wasn't at the same level. So there's no way you didn't know you was walking into that. You know what I'm saying? And so you saying like with all of the YouTube stuff, with the cameras right. everywhere, people reporting on you every other day. Okay. Right. And it's like, but with that, I feel like honestly, sometimes when you're playing football, especially when you're in high school and coming from Little League and all of that, you be the man so long that when you're not the man, it, it's, it's too much. That's too much for you. Right. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't had to to compete in a sport since I was five years old. So now you get to college and be like, mm, you, hey, you, you still clean. Right. But you're not on your business. Because the thing is, in all honesty, yeah, think about it. That's the greatest cornerback in our lifetime. Yeah, if, if that's your position, why would you not want to be coached by the greatest? Right. Like, ain't nobody never did it better than him. So, like, there's no school you're going to go to where you're going to get a better insight on it, on your position. Right. But also, like I said, my whole life, I ain't never had to compete. So why would I, you know what I'm saying, why I got to compete now? Right. And I think that's, that's my take on it. I ain't going to, you know what I'm saying, I ain't going to hold you up. I know you got other people in here. But you can't, you know what I'm saying, you can't really, like, say, oh, nah, it was this, it was that. Because my thing yeah. with that is, like, he knew what he was getting into. Okay. As far as celebrity wise, right. like the the, right. the level cameras, of exposure, videos. and that's why people coming. Yeah, because I tell you this: if you join a team, John Liquidator go report on you, bro. I'm gonna turn you up. Like, oh yeah, like, oh, oh yeah, for sure. That, I, I appreciate you, John. Hey, man, I love your videos, bro. As far as shout out to you, man. Wise, I appreciate like, you uh, watching. Uh, What's going on, man? You on here live with John Liquidator. Yo, 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 John Liquidator. What's going on, man? Not much, man. It is just one of them days, man. Um, a day I could never imagine a, a year ago. You know what I'm saying? 
I appreciate I appreciate it. I, I want to tell you first of all too, like just as a dad too, man, seeing what you're doing with your kids, man, that's awesome. It's very inspiring too, just beyond the whole football stuff. I want to yeah. give you a shout out. Um, so my my take on the Carmine situation is, you know, hey, sometimes they're gamers, and I feel like he has a lot of talent. And he's a he yeah. wasn't that for his whole life, been a gamer, and right now he's being required to show up at practice, show up and do the little things, and it's just a little bit overwhelming right. for the kid. But I think I wish him the best, man. And like I'm not, you know, I feel like everybody should chill, you know, trying to be negative on the young on the young bull. Yeah, bro, I feel you know, like, like it too, bro. Like, come on, y'all. Like, we, we can't let it. We can't let the, you know the system is a system, you know. And we can't be out here like dissing these young kids because they don't go. They're not down with Colorado. We gotta we gotta understand. Like you like you always say in your videos, when somebody's leaving, somebody else is coming in. So we gotta just hey, yeah. That's what it is. So just just accept it. You know, good luck to Cormani, man, and um. Hey man, it is what it is. You know, he had he got to get his school together. He got to get his mind right, and I hope right. he does. I hope you hope we see him on uh, ESPN top ten one day. But uh, hey man, I'm just hey, go Buffs and uh, shout out to John Liquidator to keep doing what you're doing. Shout out to you, boss. Hey. I appreciate you, man. Yes. What's going on, man? You on her live with John Liquidator? Yo, John, what's good, man? I'm happy to be here, big dog. Check this out, man. I'm shocked. I am truly, truly shocked. But the thing so, is, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before you go any further, you feel how I feel. I, I, yes, I do, bro. I, I am truly shocked because the kid got talent. When you seen him in the USC game, the, the man showed that he could truly, truly play. And yes. unlike all of these other guys, they're like, oh, well, uh, he's not in this video or that video or this and that and the third or he's not practicing. We don't know that that's the situation. I truly believe that the young man was at practice. I think he had people had unreal expectations of Kamani. So when you not see him in a video, he got all these haters coming for him. And unlike you and most people, he can't shake the haters off. It's, it's a lot. He's a young man. I think people wanted him to be the next Travis Hunter instead of allowing him to be the next Kamani McClain. And I wish the young man the best. That's all I really came up here to say. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I think this hits for Coach Prime. It's a hit for Coach Prime more than it is a hit for the Colorado Buffaloes or a loss at anything like that there. Kamani's the uh, 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 talented young man, and I wish him the best, brother. I appreciate you, man. Shake. He said shake the haters off. What's what's going on, man? Yeah. You heard the kind of liquid what's, there, John? what's up with you, man? Today, one of them days, man. How you feeling, bro? Bro, I feel how you, yo, I feel how you feel, dog. I'm sad, man. I believe in the kid. I thought the kid was a dog. I think honestly, he think he was a little lazy. You can tell in his videos, in his workout videos, this dude playing around with his boy, not working out seriously, doing some BS workouts. But honestly, I think he was a little lazy, and I think it was the academics. I think he was suspended from like team activities, so that's why y'all didn't see him in the video. So you're the first one to bring up academics. So you believe that the academics part of it played a factor in him leaving it played a factor in him not being in the videos it played a factor okay. in, in him not being at practice so that's why you didn't see in videos no workouts if your academics are bad at any program you can't be with the team you're suspended but of course coach prime didn't mention that he didn't mention that so i think they was trying to keep it on the low and you know trying to keep it hush hush so but it's shocking, bro. I thought he was a dog. I wanted him to succeed and be on the team, but, you know, things don't work out. Bro, to me, this is a day that I will forever remember, you, you know, like, because this is just one of them type of monumental days. Absolutely. You know, like, people could feel how they want to feel about Kermani. I respect everybody's opinion, everybody. But let's be real here. We all was excited when he came to this team, bro. Well, can't, I ain't cursing, but, yeah, you're right, dog. I was, we, I was excited. I was excited. I was excited. I think, like um, dude said before, I think his name was Lamar. I think yeah. this is a big hit for Coach Dion. I think Coach Dion, Coach Prime, believe in Carmani. Car I, I I believe he wanted him to stay. I believe he wanted him to be that that number one dude after Travis Hunter, but he just I think he's a little lazy. I think and the academics wasn't good, and and that's just what it is. He got to go home. Well, he's brother, I'm going to Florida somewhere. Brother, I appreciate you coming on here, man. I appreciate you rocking out with the channel, bro. No problem, dog. Good one, man. What's going on, dog? You on here with John Liquidator? 
John, about time. Yeah, let me speak my speak. Let me talk my talk. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping about Kermani leaving. You want to know why? Because bro didn't want to put in that work. And bro talking about his academics. Kermani had A's and B's. Like, he already put that, and they pinned that. you when sound he pulled. like a player, bro. I played, I, you know, I played that way for us, bro. So I, I already went through this. I already went through this. He didn't want, listen, bro. He didn't, he didn't want to do no, 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 uh, what you call it, no workouts, no morning workouts. I, I don't want through them. I know a lot of folks that fold and act like they sick and hurt because folks don't want to do no mat drills. No things, no, no things different, I promise you. And you got to wake up early in the morning, then you got to go to film, then you got workouts, then you got summer classes and stuff. Kermani, he not used to that. He ain't had to go through that in Florida. And Kermani was the number one DB. So in his head, he like, bro, I got to do all this. You know what I'm saying? He right. like, man, I probably ain't going to go through this at the next school. He, I, probably, I probably ain't got to go through all this at the next school. Now, nah, knowing, like, bro, that, that's how it is everywhere in college. Like, you got to pee, bro. I was I was saying that. I commented on all this. He even liked one of my posts. I said, come on, on, on Instagram, I commented. I said, come on. I said, I said you don't want to do no mad drills. Keep it real. I and mean, he he liked it. Like, come on, I be knowing certain stuff. Like, he he ain't want to do no mad drill for him. His grades was fine, but then when he found out that uh um McKinney and Preston Hodge was coming, and he see how they playing more DB, and and Preston Hodge not really playing safety or nickel like he's supposed to. He playing more DB. It right. just everything everything plays a part. You know what I'm saying? He he want like, and a lot of people were saying like he was acting like he didn't want to go to Colorado when he first signed. Like no, that's just his personality. But he just right. he he that he got that mentality. Like then these jits out here, man, they getting money. You know what I'm saying? So you know, yeah. folks like other folks in his DM talking about, bro. Come on, bro, we got a bad for you. Come on, bro, we got a bad for you. But they just got DJ McKinney. They just got two two freshman uh high schools that's like six one from Florida. They and they both solid. Right. Like like they know five star four stars, but they they some Florida boys. They 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 can lock down some stuff for real. And there's right. no. They can they can do whatever Kermani doing, bro. Kermani just right. got that five star title. And then the last thing I wanted to say, I already knew Kermani really wasn't finna do something when he got to Colorado, cause you can tell who really does in them UA All American games, some All Star games. I watched him. He got cooked in practice, and he he didn't do nothing wow, in the game. I'm not. Bro. I'm not. Listen. I'm not trying to diss him, bro. I'm just keeping it real. I wasn't a fan when he committed. I already knew that he wasn't going to start because Amari Cooper came from Florida State, and then they had Jaquez coming from Alabama. I already knew he wasn't going to start, bro. I just, I, I, and, like, getting him that number one jersey, they only, you know what I'm saying, that's to even get him to come even or even more. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, yeah, you're not getting seven because Cam, Cameron got that. But you, you know what I'm saying, you're the number one pick. It, it put an extra juice to him. But we all knew, even Coach Prime knew, that he was not going to start once he got there. And he wanted to start like a true freshman like I did when I was at Wake Forest, but then I got red shirt in my sophomore year. So okay. that's what's going to end up happening to him if he don't get in that playbook and actually put that work in. You and know so, what I'm saying? Okay, okay, right. And so do you think, right, at the next college he go to, can he start? It depends on where he go. It depends on where he go. Because if he think he finna go to Florida State, uh, Alabama, Georgia, he not he not finna start. I promise you. If he go to like Louisville or 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 um, like a good little school, you know what I'm saying? Like um, right. like Syracuse. He a he a start at Syracuse. You know what I'm saying? He still he he can go to a D1 school and start, <laughs> but he's not finna go to where y'all want him to go, and he's not finna start because. He already got that mentality, and, and, and in his mind, said he. And look, I already know because I wasn't a practice person either. That's why I got ready to start my sophomore year because I wasn't a practice right. person either. I'm a game person. I'm like, bro, they put me in the game, bro. They put me in the game because you want me to do it every single day. And Sunday, my body ain't moving the way it is. And, and listen, football players, we always hurt. You know what I'm saying? We always hurt. Right, if it, right, if it's right. one thing, it's another, bro. So it's like. It's like, man, forget that, bro. <laughs> it's like, forget that. Trust me, he finna, he finna, he gonna go somewhere. I promise you, if Kermani go to like one of them top twenty five schools that's 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 ranked like in the top twenty five, he go there, he's not going to start. I promise you. But if he go to like a Syracuse, Duke, North Carolina, a D one school, but just not popping like that. He okay. has a plan for starting because he's a five star. He was a five star. His name Kermani McClain, and that will make a ring for them other colleges. And they ain't now, got no choice. Now, with that being said, right? Yeah. Do you think he got potential to go to the NFL? 
Yeah, if he man, if he wants to stay with Cole Prime, golly. But even if he don't go with stay with Cole Prime, if he can, it's just he got to get his mind right. I can see where his mind at right now. It just and then that's not just for him; it's for all of them. Cause they all they care about is the money right now. That's why I don't, I don't, I don't like. And I'm not hating because we wasn't getting paid. <laughs> I, I'm a little mad, but but you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like. The NIL is just taking over. It feel like folks going to a school just to collect the bag and then hopping in the transfer portal to get another bag. That's what I was saying about that offensive tackle dude that was jumping from uh from Alabama to Iowa. Right, right, I'm like, right. I'm uh, like, Proctor, y'all just going to Proctor. Proctor, yeah. I'm like, y'all just going to these schools to get a bag, bro. Because because y'all what, what y'all know that y'all ain't gonna be in the NFL for long. Y'all, 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 y'all tired of football already? Like y'all, y'all just gonna yeah. go to the NFL for like two, three years. That's your mindset. So y'all just heard trying to get this bag. Ain't nothing wrong with getting the bag, but just going to a school, get the bag, then leaving, going to the next. You not? That's not. That's not good. That's not cool. That's not. That's not smart. That's that's showing like you're not trustworthy. Money taking over, and what right. NFL? You know what I'm saying? I know NFL a business. But you can't, oh, I want a free agent. I want to go to a free agent because I'm not playing. No, bro, you got to right. stay on that team, bro, to your contract over. Like, you, like, and it, but it's just, I feel like this is just setting them up for failure. This NIL and transfer portal is setting them up for failure because failure because they not getting, like, like you got to, you got to stay there and work, bro. I had to stay away for three years. <laughs> yeah, y'all got to work, bro. Now, Coach Paul Reed said something powerful and profound today when he was on 24 7. He said the issue with everything is players, these high school guys, right? Getting these mm -hmm. bags, going to these institutions. If you don't get no playing time, your trajectory and going up. And excelling maybe at the NFL level and stuff like that. If you don't play within the first two years, you're cooked. That's basically yeah. what Paul Reed said. That like, yeah. like you got a two year window. If you don't play at a significant institution that you was recruited to, and then he said something else too. He said like, when these coaches be out here recruiting these players, they need to let these young men know. If you ain't playing and you ain't producing within the time frame we need you to, you have to go because money yeah. is involved now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But just like somebody said in the interview earlier, when you jump in that transfer portal, are you guaranteed that somebody finna hit you up? Or you just jumping in, or are you just jumping in there free willing? You know what I'm saying? Just hoping and wishing just because your names and the transfer portal, everybody gonna hit you up. It don't work like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like people bite, like I'm saying, like what you saying, what you saying what bro had what you was um referring to what bro said. I, I feel what he's saying, but where where are you finna go? Austin P, Virginia State, Virginia Union, where are you finna go? Because right. every it because once once somebody leaves, somebody else coming in, bro. You know what I'm saying? It don't. It don't matter. It do not matter. It do not matter once you leave somebody coming in. So, like, bro can go. You know what I'm saying? Like, because so, it's gonna be better players. And so, basically, you saying you ain't mad that that Carmani left? No, nah, because he no no because I already knew he wasn't really like that. I feel like he was gonna start like literally probably towards the end of this year. Or start like be a be that dog next year when Tra Travis gone because then it'd be him and then it could be well you know what I'm saying he'll be the fake cut like then he he have some stuff under his belt just because you a five star don't mean that you you supposed to start right away I mean it sounds like it's supposed to be like that you know what I'm saying yeah. but but like like no 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 this to the tight end um Smalls he was a five star right a DN five star right. Right now, look at him. Now, look at him. Not no this to him, but now look at him. Just because you a five star, don't mean nothing. I like, I don't see, I man, I <laughs> Robert King DQ is the no one recruiting my class. Me, Ryan Ruben Foster, and Ava Kamara, we all hung out and grew up together and stuff. Evan Ingram, all of I don't see Ruben Foster smack. Robert Kendichi so many times, and Robert Kendichi was what a six five. 280, 290, running back right. stash DM. Come on. Like, it don't matter what star you is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be a dog because you might be a star in Washington, but you come to Georgia high school, you're going to be a three-star. 
it, it, it depends on where you at. And I'm not dissing Kermani's uh, school in Florida where he was at. I'm not, I'm not, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a right. Georgia boy, so I ain't really a fan of no Florida folks like that. But I'm just saying, like, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever school he went to in Florida, you know what I'm saying? Pope, whatever it is, I think Pope County, whatever. I like, yeah, Lakeland, like, Lakeland. Lakeland. Lakeland, like, it, it might have been straight, but the people that he was going against, they really, they really wasn't like that. He wasn't going against the team that Calvin Benjamin and and and, and uh, Shaw, them Florida State boys came from that uh, yellow school. I forgot what's called. They, they they ain't coming from ING. They not coming from the other schools. So you gotta understand, like it depends on what school you come from. You might be the best dog at, at in that in that county in that conference at your school. Right, but I don't mean that you really, you really like that because you kind of go get some dudes from Texas or Georgia. They gonna bust your head. I promise you that. Well, brother, I appreciate you shedding light on this whole situation. DM me on Instagram, man. I love to bring you back on again, bro. I got you, and I'm the. I don't know if you heard about me, but I'm the one that was saying that Colorado gonna put up 67 points, and I'm still standing on that. On at least about five or six, five or six games this upcoming season, and they, they and they might lose one. I'm I'm still. I don't care about Carmine leaving. I'm I'm telling you, no boys gonna do work. I'm out. <laughs> Shake the haters off, baby. <laughs> Shout out to you, bro. Want to bring in my partner, Coach Dre? Coach Dre. Coach Dre. Can you hear me? Coach Dre. I don't know what happened to Coach Dre. Hold on. I think he got off. What's going on, Doc? Yeah, what's good? What's good? How you doing, John? How you I'm been? pretty good, man. It's just one of them days for me, man. Um, I ain't never went through a day like this since I've been covering the team. And uh, this one really hit home for me, though. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, for me, it's like mixed feelings. Like, I'm honestly, I've been watching college football for a little bit. And so right. I'm a big fan of, like, Coach Prime. So, like, when he got Karani, I was I was in the hype. But at the same time, not all five stars are five stars. You got to understand that. Because a lot right. of Georgia, Alabama, Florida, they recruit five stars, but not all of them play. So, for me, I was just thinking, like, maybe what he does during the season will probably, like, change my thought. But when all the nonsense is coming, when him coming late to, like, summer workouts and him not doing his schoolwork, it was just, like, I feel like the world's moving too fast for Kamani. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. maybe all the video cameras and Coach Prime being Coach Prime was just a little bit too much for him. You know what I'm saying? Especially, like, not coming right. out. Uh, probably like a school like IMG or like Marty Day, you know what I mean? Something like that. So, like, so you saying what another players, I mean, another uh caller said, they said that maybe the cameras, all of the attention, guys like me making these YouTube videos, everything that comes with the Colorado attention might have been too much. Yeah, you got to understand that for a fact because actually, like, we got to think about it. Like, when Coach Prime was putting Colorado on the map and everybody wasn't believing it and he brought Carmani in, like, you got to expect, like, when we went out to go play, a lot of teams played us harder than probably, you know what I mean, the, the right teams, you know what I'm saying, just go for Coach Prime. So imagine Carmani being in the spotlight, reporters asking for him, you know what I mean? It's like that's a bigger pressure than him being a five-star going to a Georgia where it's a lot of five-stars where, you know, what you could just – be it like yeah, you're just a a needle in side uh, a haystack of needles. So it's like right. it's you define. So when you at Colorado and you're like a main five star, it's like all eyes on you. Just so what how right. it was on Travis and Shador, you know. So right. I feel like that kind of like kind of put him in a whirlwind, and that uh that kind of like I mean messed up his like his, his mindset at one point. And another yeah. thing, I wasn't feeling the fact that he said he wasn't going to transfer, and then he transferred. That's what shocked me. He said that's – look, it's crazy that you say that. It's crazy that you bring that point up because that's why I was shocked because he did say that he wasn't leaving. He did, you know, he, 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 he did some facts. And when – because I was out and about. I'm going to tell you all how I found out. <laughs> So I was out and about. Somebody was all like, John, DNVR was live. Shout out to DNVR. And they was all like, well, Carmani could be possibly leaving. I said, hold up, wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> is this for real? Oh, no. No. So 
so I proceeded to make the video. You know, allegedly, you know, he, you know, I'm getting word because people was telling me that it could be for real. Mm. And so I'm stunned, bro. Yeah, that's what got me because the fact that he told us he wasn't going to transfer, that he actually transferred, it was just like, dude, like, yeah, I mean, it was just like, I feel like it's more to it than we just don't know. That's why he's really out of there. Yeah. Playing games like that is like Coach Prime probably was dealing with a whole lot more. You know what I'm saying? If he's just doing stuff like that. On top of top, on top of that, like you got to understand, like five stars sometimes they get above themselves. So when right. Coach Prime and he has like a certain structure, like you might right. not fit into that because you know you could go somewhere else and get all the treatment, all the blessings, all the money. You know what I mean? Just right. off being a five star, but sometimes it don't work out like that. And plus, the way Coach Prime uses in transfer portal. It doesn't matter if you're a five star. You can get three star to do your job better. Hence, right. you know what I mean. So it's like, then again, you gotta live up to that five star name, which I feel like he wasn't doing. But we believed in him so much. We believed in him so much. But when I was watching Arizona State and he was getting beat by the cross routes, I'm like, yo, yo, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, brother, I appreciate you coming on here, man. I want to let my dog come on, man. Oh, yeah, no Blessings problem. to you, man. I gotta get my dog on here, man. You got me? Oh, Coach Dre. Me? What's up, bro? I got you on here, man. Um, Carmani meant so much to me, man. Like, as a player, you know, the the young man was phenomenal, man. I am stunned, Dre, Coach Dre. I mean, this, this, this uh, bro, so just to be real with it, a lot of people, I mean, this this the way of world the way of the world and uh, this the way things happen. Uh, bro felt like he needed to make us change and he felt like he maybe he needed a fresh start. I don't know the particulars. I don't know exactly what happened, um, but it came out today that he was leaving. Uh, I think a lot of people are hurt. I think a lot of people are shocked. But at the end of the day, these are kids, and for people to go yeah. off and bash kids, they kids, and they got a family, and he got a mama, he got a sister, he got a grandma, he got family. So, you know, I think a person put out that suicide is one of the highest rate for uh, college athletes because sometimes yeah. it's just the, the, the weight of the world. It, it, it's just a decision. He made one. We made bad mistakes. We made yeah. bad decisions in life. And so, you know, with all this hate and all this, he made a mistake. If, if that's what you if we want to call it that, if we don't want to call it that. Like you say, uh, I hear people saying he went to a powerhouse school in the state of Florida. Lakeland got six, seven state championships. He played against the best of the best. I think he's him. Uh, I do think it's stuff. Everybody got stuff he need to work on. So I was, I would be lying if I didn't say he got stuff he need to work on. But he yeah. got to do whatever he feels best for him. And if he feels like it was best for him to leave, then that's that's cool. I'm gonna rock out with him because he my jit. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm I'm seeing you to the end of it. You get what I'm saying? And I believe Coach Prime making young men into men, and that's what I was about. I wanted him to become a better young man. And I know that's what Coach Prime brings to the table. One thing I will say, Coach Dre, is that because I know you 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 would probably know this. Do you think us reporting on him so much played a factor? All the YouTube videos coming out about him, this and that. Do you think that might have played a factor? I, you know, I'm not going to speculate, bro. I ain't going to say that that played a factor if it did. I just know that I could only imagine – what I'm saying is just, you have a child, I have a child. Just imagine right. every day you wake up and your son is the topic of discussion. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, this, that. And you, you can't get a break. And so now you walk around town and people asking you questions. You don't even know people walking up to you. So sometimes that there can't get over a thing. I think he's a real quiet kid. He's an introvert. He's never been a kid that's been loud and overbearing or nothing like that right now. Right. Uh, like you say, it's just Coach Prime got a certain standard. He's going to stick to that standard. And he's yeah. not going to drop the standard for anybody. You got to come up and, and live up to the standard. You can see he has all kind of forms of fashion of ball players. You got the people that like the glitz and glamour. And you got a guy like Travis that just want to play football, go home, go fishing, and spend time with his fiance. So you have all kind of uh, different values of players. All I want to tell people is let's stop the hate. Let's stop all the this, yeah. that, and the third. I understand that he did say that he wasn't going to leave, and he did leave. Okay, he's a he's an 18, 19-year-old kid. 
the 18 year old, 18 to 19 year old kids say stuff like that. And yep. so, uh, but you know, I just, I just want us to understand and put ourselves in his shoes and his family shoes, even in Coach Prime's shoes. Even when kids leave, Coach Prime ain't never came out, and he never, he's never came out personally this year saying anything bad. This whole spring, he hasn't opened his mouth. No, nah, you know what I'm saying. So you know, let's just give everybody the benefit of the doubt. If it come out, it come out. If it don't, it don't. You know, that's the way I look at it. But what we got to do is he got to push forward. See, you got to push forward. And yeah. that's how you got to look at it. I appreciate you, Coach Jerry, man. Um, you, Do you want to shout out to podcast? Shout out to Rob the Man Media, man. Uh, Y'all can you know, catch uh, Coach Jerry on the yeah, podcast every up. Sunday. Yeah, every Sunday, Rob the Man, B. Watts. Uh, I rocks with them, but, uh, you know, I also, you know, like, I, I'm never going to forget that I started here with, with Life of Football and, and uh, John the Liquidator. You get what I'm saying? That's where the yeah. little Coach Dre name really started popping. So I appreciate all of that. Again, I'm not a content creator, man. I'm just a guy that's doing what God called him to do. And that's uh, yeah. help young men get to where they're trying to go, man. So I appreciate all you're doing. You keep rocking, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't let nobody stop you. Keep pushing. You get what I'm saying? Because it's a lot yeah. of hate in the world. You just got to stay man. positive and do what you know. And know what you know is good. You get what I'm saying? I yeah. love you, bro. Keep doing what you do, bro. Shout out to Coach Dre. Appreciate you, man. Get somebody else on here. What's going on, brother? Hey, what's good? What's good, man? My name's Tony Westside, the good side. I, uh, I, uh, I, I just got uh, a couple of things to say, if you don't know, mind. Okay, okay. Um, so how you feel about the Cormani situation? I think that it was necessary. Um, one, I don't think Coach Prime... Coach Prime's Hollywood versus Kermani is very small town. If you if you know where Lakeland's at, it's important. Oh, what happened to bro? Bro, click on the link. What's what's going on? You on her live with John the Liquidator? Yo, shout out to the live stream, man. Um, what's going on, John? How you doing, brother? I'm doing, man. I'm doing, dog. This is this is a day that I will forever remember. Um, since I've been covering the team, man, this is just one of them days, and I can't even put it in the words, man. Like, I respect, respect, because see, John, you, you, you like uh, that's your boy Carmani, and you, you wasn't looking forward to him disappearing from the team or transferring no, out. Not at all, not even a little bit. Understood. I was looking forward to old Carmani, you know, coming through, especially a couple of weeks ago when he dropped that video and said not transferring. I was. I was like, I bet I want to see what bro gonna do this year. But right. let me see. let me just keep it G, bro. I gotta keep it G. It's probably best that homie left. It was already on his mind. It's probably been on Carmani's mind since last season when he played the couple of games that he played in. Right. When he didn't start originally, he was thinking, oh, okay, I'm five star. I'm coming in. Coach Prime and put me in the mix. I'm finna come in here first couple of games. I need to be the starter. He already had it in his mind, like. Man, what's going on? Am I right. really going? To, and then, and you know, no telling what else academically. If that's if that's a fact, if that is a fact, somebody said he all right. all A's and B's. Maybe he was late to maybe he was late to meetings. Maybe he was late to to uh, different things. Coach Prime is a is, is an old school coach. Yeah, definitely. He definitely definitely is. When I was in high school, I had an old school coach, bro. You better not be late to nothing. You finna catch yeah. that paddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You finna, you finna run. You finna get paddled. You finna call your mama, your daddy. He a, he was an old school coach. Coach Prime the same way. So we never know what Kamani really, really, truly had going on. But I feel like sometime at some point last year, Kamani already put in his head that he was going he was going to eventually burn out it was just so many times of so I'm I'm, I'm 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 sorry to cut you off and so you saying that maybe carmani knew he was gonna leave last year yeah man i'm, I'm feeling like carmen he already knew that last year bro he had it in his mind carmani probably felt like he was gonna be the starter in that position last year and when that didn't take place and he had to sit on the bench for a little bit Right. You know, your mind start going like, man, I ain't playing like I want to play. I'm a five-star. I'm I'm so-and-so. I'm this person. Right. And he may have already told himself, man, if I don't start seeing no results as far as me getting on the field, et cetera, I right. might need to get up out of here. You know what I mean? Right. And 
whatever took place this off season in the spring with him uh maybe not practicing with the team or um you know different things to that effect plays a lot on your mental you see what i'm saying yeah and, and, and then you got social media you got your friends at home you got your family right. you got everybody man why you not on the field why you not playing? Why Coach Prime right. ain't playing you? Why the, what's up with the DB coach? He don't want you to start. I thought you were better than the mother case. The mother case right. three stars. What's going on over there? You got all this in your head as an 18, 19 year old. Uh, uh really, you adult. The only reason why we yeah. call college yeah. kids, we, only reason why we call college athletes kids is because they go to school. But if we had kids, right. uh, 18, 19 year old that's working in the mall or working in the workforce, not going to college. That's an adult. So at the end of the day, you know, I don't know, man. I just feel like Carmani probably made the best decision for him. And hopefully he can go on to continue his his path in, co in collegiate sports and make it to the NFL if possible. I just don't like it because I feel like you was around a great environment for success. What Coach but, Prime brings to the table. Go ahead. But, like, with him leaving, right? This is this is this is my thing. This is why I say it's so important for him to tell us. You know, I doubt if we uh get a response from him. I've been talking to people, you know, since I've been on live, but I think you know, we need to know why because I don't like I say this before. A lot of people is going to be speculating about this whole Kermani thing, man. And I feel like we gonna need to know the truth. Well, I'm going to say this. I don't know what, you know, I'm not there. Um, but I will say this. It would probably have to come out of Carmani's mouth. And I don't believe that Coach Prime or anybody yeah, from the Colorado organization would yeah, yeah, would say yeah. something first. You know what I mean? As far as why this certain player left. And I also think Carmani joined the bandwagon from today of and yesterday of all the players leaving at one time. So it wasn't all a whole bunch of pressure on him just necessarily disappearing, even though right. we feel like Carmody probably was our best boy out of everybody that's kind of getting up. Bro, out of I him. am distraught, bro. Like, I'm mad. I'm you know what I'm saying? I was hurt when I heard Slusher was 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 leaving. I thought Slusher was raw, you know. Um, yeah, but, Slusher, you know, two forced fumble, two interceptions. He had a lot of PT, man. Like, all of this, you know, all of this. To me, it's just a lot going on, man. And I'm getting word that, you know, somebody could be in here under a burner account, you know, looking at this live. So this oh, is all I'm saying. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, you know, we want to we want to we want to tip our head off to anybody for their success in life, man. Keep doing what you got to do for yourself first. I just feel like Carmine, bro, you was in a he was in a good situation with one with the best DB, DB that played in the league, played multiple sports, that had you around multiple connections to bring you around and get you to the point to where you want to be. And we 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 guess and that's the league, right? And so I don't yeah. see no other coach that can really just right now with the spotlight on Colorado Buffs. Everybody that play that watch sports, that plays sports is watching the buffs. People that don't play sports or didn't even watch sports are watching Colorado. I just feel like Carmine, I just feel like him leaving, this one hurt so bad because let's just all agree on this. And so we all could agree on this. Carmine was a household name. Uh, ten toes down, man, for sure. He was Car a household name. He was up there with the Travis, the Shadors, the Shiloh. Who coming next? You're going to say Carmine's name. That's yeah. why I feel like this hurt. So, like, a lot of people trying to bash him and go in. At the end of the day, we right. all was rooting for Carmine. Nah, hands down. And when he when he, when he blocked that when he blocked that pass in the end zone against Jerry Rice's son, bro, bro, in that game, bro. I, I said, oh, there you go, little bro. There you, you know what I mean? It felt good. It felt like, it felt like you know, it's a camaraderie. So, you right. <laughs> you all right, so right. now since he's gone, everybody want to act brand new. No, we gotta keep this same energy, dog. We all was rocking with Carmani heavy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I like Carmani, like I said, but but I'm glad at the same time that he made his decision for him 
and hopefully he can go go on here because when you John, when you had that in your mind that you possibly want to leave, even in relationships with females, if you want to leave, you need to leave, bro. You don't need to stick around right. because you got it in your mental. And if your mental is not correct, then then possibly the, the situation won't be how you determine it to go. You got to be able to manifest what you got going on on the day on the day to day. So like right. I said, Carmani mentally maybe I can't speak for the young man. But maybe he already got it in his brain, John. You know what I mean? And and we we upset that he leaving. We hurt that he's gonna be transferring. Oh, I'm hurt, bro. Like <laughs> it's just a tough day, man. But I appreciate you jumping on her with me, man. Yes, sir. <sighs> and I shake them haters off. Y'all keep it keep it right. Hit that subscribe button, man. And let's go, Buzz, man. Let's get it. Shout out to you, dog. What's going on, What's man? Going on, man. John, what's up, John? What's good, man? I just need you to cut your TV down. How you feel about uh the whole Carmani situation, brother? Man, Carmani ain't want to commit, John. I ain't going to hold you, man. Like, you know, what a lot of these high school players don't understand is, yeah, you the man in high school. You can skip class. You can half, half go to practice. You can go on the field and put up numbers. You ain't got to commit. But when you playing for somebody like Prime, bro, you got to commit because he trying to get you to the next level. It ain't about the talent. It's about the commitment. You can have all the talent in the world and can't commit, and you won't make it to that next level. It take commitment. It don't just take talent. You can right. have all the talent in the world, Jay. But if you ain't out here committing yourself and, and leading by example, ain't nobody going to commit to you. Right. And so you saying that he wasn't committed – to coach or he wasn't committed to the team like 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 whenever you say commitment what do you mean by that when i say commitment what i mean is he leading by example he going up there and being a dog just like travis was his first year being a dog you know that's what they want dogs right he soft spoken he ain't a buff it's sad to say he ain't had what it was to be a buff he too soft spoken but he wasn't like that. If you watch his seven-on-sevens in high school, he had all the mouth in the world. He was trash-talking. He was doing all that. He got there around players that was just as good as him, talent that was just like his, and all that dog went away. Right. You watch his seven-on-sevens, did you see that passion, that voice he had? He was talking more. He was more, you know, he was on the field. He was letting his mouth go. He was gone. Did you see that part of it? No nah, man, no, nah, no, nah, I didn't I didn't yeah, he had part. a voice. That's what I'm saying. I feel like when he got there, he got scared. He seen that training. Their training is rigorous. They put you through real oh boy training. just said something about the uh mat drills and morning uh workouts. Yeah, and I seen and but then he, he did a little vlog where he was working out with his man the other day, but they weren't yeah. really doing that. Like, what did he show from that vlog? Like, did that really make Buff Nation say, All right, we got somebody? Oh, yeah, he committed. <laughs> What did that little vlog show with him and his man from Arkansas? If anything, that show, man, I might go play with my man. I don't know, man. But, brother, I appreciate you jumping on here with me, man. I got a lot of people backstage. I want to give everybody the opportunity nah, to uh, get on here. You, John, much love. Keep doing what you're doing. We need you, brother. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm making sad, it, man. man. It ain't the end of the world. We got more dogs on the way, man. Yeah, I appreciate you, brother. What's going on, man? You're what alive up? with that liquidator. What up? what up? Yo, I normally don't do this. He right? said it's the first one that I jumped on. Right? Shout out to but you, I man. Just to, <laughs> I just want to say a couple things. Okay. Number one, I think that five-star thing, like a lot of people are saying, when he got to college, that's a totally different world. Okay. You know what I mean? In high school, he was probably bait. Did whatever he wants. Walk around the campus, do whatever he wants. It ain't like that in college, man. And another thing, you know when they say watch film? It's not yeah. watching film with your group. Everybody has an iPad where they can see when you log in and how much film you watch on your own. That's what Coach Prime was saying. He don't watch film. I never thought about that. You know what that. I mean? Yeah, yeah, they all have an iPad where, and Coach Prime even said it in one of the press conferences, we know who's watching film. 
Just right. like you know, you can you can log in. Uh, you know, if you're at work and you can see who's doing what. If right. you work with computers, you know what I mean. Right. You know, but that hit me, man. I was like, damn, because he got all the attributes. He's he's yeah. the, you know on the football field. He got all the attributes to be what Coach Prime wanted him to be. Yeah. But yeah. he just I don't think he put the work in. And just one other thing. So you saying is Seton, Check it out. Seaton said that he went to he wanted to go to Colorado because he said when he met Coach Prime, he said Coach Prime didn't and the coaches didn't say, Oh, you're the best man, you're the five star. We want you here. No, no. He said Coach Prime told him, Yo, you are right, but there's a lot of things you need to work on, brother. And we're gonna get you there. Yeah, he did say that. And I yeah, bet he you he told Kamani that too. I bet you he told Kamani the same thing. Like, yo, bro, all right, but there's a lot of things you gotta work on, bro. But I'm gonna get you because you think about it. Look at the way Coach Prime is coaching up um DJ McKinney. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I've, I've been home for a couple of weeks with. Because um, I was in an accident, you know what I mean? Wow. So I've been watching everybody, you know? I've yeah. been watching everybody. And I was like, yo, look at the way he's 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 hands-on with these dudes, man. And I right. think you want to be like that with Kamani. I just, me personal, this is just me, my personal thing. I don't think he's just putting in that work, man, to be great, period. Well, brother, I appreciate you jumping on here, man. No matter what, no matter what you do, you got to put that work in, though, right, John? Mm -hmm. Just like mm -hmm. your channel. If Bro, you don't put that work in, what would you be doing? Yeah, yeah. Well, brother, I appreciate you. Don't be like, damn. All right, bro. Peace. I appreciate you. Bring my dog up here, East Coast Kev. So dog, right, John, how you feeling, man? Bro, you already know how I'm feeling, Kev, bro. Oh man, I know, I know. Yeah, man. I'm on bro, come yeah, on, bro. Hey, let, let me tell you this. Um, and I like Kamani too, but I'm gonna say it like this, and that people are probably gonna get mad at me. Um, I'm just gonna say it. If Chidozi Noanko, Jordan Seaton, Caleb Benson, Yakiri Walker, Tyler Brown, Torian Carter, if any of them would have jumped in the portal, I would have been devastated. I'm not going. I'm not going crazy over no corner. I'm sorry. At, at this point, we got an open scholarship. Let's get that lineman from. Uh, I think he played at Kentucky or he played at, at uh, Louisville. Played at Louisville. Yeah. Jermaine Lole. I think he's a uh, uh, Hawaiian. He's a dog on that defensive line. So I'm not tripping on no corner. I got three words for you. Next man up. Hey. That's how I feel. At I this, wish somebody the best. I love, at this I love point, I feel like that's the mentality we got to have now because yeah. all the speculation is over. So many people hitting me up right now, man. It's crazy. And so, like, all of the special – I mean, all of the uh, uh, speculation is over. All of it's over. Come on, he gone. Where do we go from here? Next man up. Right. That's all I'm saying. I like DJ McKinney and – Who's the other guy? Preston Hodge. He's been looking good too. Hodge. Um, I think yeah. uh Omarion Cooper's still there. Oh, that's right. Cooper. Wasn't he a freshman too? I think so. I'm gonna have to yeah. go look. Even when Kamani can look at the difference in between Stoudemire's still there, but Stoudemire mm -hmm. moving to safety from what I heard. Check this out, right? So look at the difference between Kamani when he came in his freshman year, getting in trouble and getting complaints about him, not not watching film and then whatever. Look at yeah. look at Michael Welch, the, the running back kid who's a freshman yeah. coming he in nasty, hungry. Bro. He's like that man. He's coming in hungry. He's ready to play. Like uh, you, 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 uh, all of the detractors and the critics want to blame Dion or blame Coach Prime for that. You, you can't blame Coach Prime for that because how come they worked for, for uh, Michael Welch, but it, it didn't work for uh, for Kamani? So I'm not blaming Kamani. I do think he was homesick, but. You know, next man up, and I wish him luck. Right. I'm going to follow him, and I still follow him, so I'm not going to do that to him. He a nice bro. hero. God's got him. Bro, and then, like, I don't want people to think I'm not going to do videos. On, I mean, like, I'm just going to completely stop doing videos on Kermani. You know, I'm still going right. to report on Kermani. 
So, like, even though he's not a kind of – normally I don't do that. I normally don't report on guys once they leave, you know, but I feel like I rock with Carmani so heavy, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to still rock with him because my love for, like, him, his family, it was real, bro. Right. And I real quick, I want to say this, John, that I'm going to let somebody else come up. A lot of the tractors are going to say, well, Prime is play, he plays favorites. I'm going to tell you this. I'm not defending Prime on that, but at the end of the day, if a man ranks his kids, what makes you think he's not going to rank his players? <laughs> oh, and look, I played football. I played football for a guy named Coach Schumacher. Rest in peace. Yeah. That coach has a, a, you know, they love their kids the same, but they had those special relationships and they got those favorites. Step up and do what you're supposed to do at your position. And you can be among one of those favorites. That's just the way it yeah. is. They even have favorites. Kirby Smart, uh, Lane Kiffin. Man, all, all them these coaches guys, got favorites, got favorites bro. Man. Yeah. You know, I just feel like people going to beat around the bush with it and, you know, treat it as if it's not the case. But coach got favorites. And, you know, he most definitely wants you to compete. But at the end of the day, we don't know why he left, bro. Like, that's – that's that. To me, that's what make it hurt so bad because, like, I feel like we deserve to know, bro. Yeah. Hey, I'm not going to hold you up, man. Uh, thank you for having me. I brother. appreciate you, Kev, dog. Right. You always holding it down on the channel, bro. Love to you, bro. What's going on, y'all, here with John Liquidator? What's up? What's going on, man? How you feel? I'm feeling like. Carmine had the chance to be great, and he didn't take that chance. He going off, and he, I guess he going to, you know, try to hopefully get his chance to go back to Miami if they accept him and take him back. But he was being trained by the best cornerback ever. You had all these Hall of Famers like Coach Prime always talking about. And I guess he couldn't, I think, like most people saying, Carmine was just a five-star player who had talent in high school and believed his talent was good get him wherever he wanted to be on the field and get playing time at an early, you know, at an early stage in his career where he had to be molded. You got to look at a player like, you know, I hate to, you know, use the cliche with Travis Hunter, but Travis came out the gate at Jackson State and was ready. Even he was hurt when he got to Jackson State and needed surgery. Right. I believe he didn't have surgery, but he still came out and did his thing. Carmine just really, and I hate to, you know, bring his parents in it, but, you know, some parents use their children to, you know, things they wanted to do and succeed at in life. And they didn't get the chance to do it. I believe I don't even believe the way Carmine is. I don't even believe football is what he really wants. I believe I he do it more like we can't sit up here and say that. That's that's kind of like seriously bashing, bro. Like no, I don't want. I I don't want to like you know. I'm not bashing his parents because I you know like, I have sons and I want them to play football. I don't know if they're gonna want to play when they get older, but I'm gonna push it on them because I want them to play. But it's just that the fact of. He went and if you're a talented person and say you could get paid yeah. for a talent, hey bro, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off, but the people in the chat said that uh they want me to move on. You know, um, I, I appreciate you rocking off with the uh, channel. He went kind of hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. What's going on? You're here live with John Liquidator. What's up, John the Liquidator? I was I was watching your show from the day one. You cranked this thing. Well, Kamani man, I think he um. He moving a little bit too quick. I don't you think, think he so. Learn. Yeah, I think he don't want to learn. It's a process to this situation. I mean, right? Come on. Yeah, you know, and then you know by me following y'all and following well off media for well, a I mean, since this thing crank up, I've been watching. I mean, since on beyond God, you know, he had a little ups and downs. I mean, I don't know the kid. He can be. He maybe can be great someplace else. But I'm thinking he just wasn't a great fit for him. I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? I'm really, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to beat the kid up. I hope all the best in the future for him. I hope he show everybody that he, he's at work. But I think he's trying to put himself above and not putting in the work. Because it's hard to be a cornerback. I mean, you're just not going to go out there and try to get out there and take this high school, man. It's like you got a lot to learn. I right. can't say he got one of the best coaches to learn from. But I hope the kid's real good, man. I hope I hope he do the best. And, you know, we buff and we hate so much last year, you know, about him. I think we just need him to go ahead and move on and shut that door 
and you know, look forward on the rest of the players where we are. I think we're gonna be all right this year. I doubt it. You know, even with him, I doubt it. I appreciate you, bro. I got a bunch of people backstage. I appreciate I, you I mean, for rocking out with the channel, man. Shout out to you. What's going on, brother? Man, I'm sorry about earlier, but I'm gonna make this quick. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, for I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off. For all the people that want to get on the uh panel, you gotta click on the link in the chat. I'm dropping a link in the chat. So anytime y'all see my name pop up, y'all just click on that link, click on that stream yard link, and that's how you get on here. Click on that stream yard link with that's by my name, and that's how you get on the chat. But uh you can uh go on ahead, brother. Yeah, I, I, I just want to make this quick. I didn't think that John Young was saying he make family worse, man. Uh, everything you've been doing is the hate, sir. Shout out to you, man. I can barely hear you, man. You, you sound kind of grainy. Uh, let me pick, I'll pick you on I'll pick you on Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got okay. you now. All right. Cool, cool. I just wanted to say I'm a big fan of yours. Real big fan of yours. You you are doing a lot of great things, man. And I, you, man. I love I watch all your videos. You're your I you're appreciate dope. you, man. Um, especially with being a Florida boy, man. You, you hold down Florida real tough, man. I love that. Um I just want to keep it just keep it simple. Kermadi was a small town kid, like I was trying to say before, versus um, versus you know coming into the lights. Prime has been very media, Hollywood, and all that other stuff. So Kermadi going into that situation. Now they say he was a raw rock kid. He really was not a raw rock kid. He'll right. talk some mess. Like it, it, I mean, in between the lines, you talk mess. But you know. Outside the locker room, not you know he's not going to be in the cameras. He he barely does anything on his channel. You know what I mean? He's right. like, well, uh, but how I feel about the transfer, and I'm not gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. It's probably something that he needed to do for himself. Okay. And, and I, I don't, I didn't want him to transfer, but this is something he needs to do for himself. And I I pray that he gets what he needs out of this because there there's there. There's a lot that goes on in college football, and he probably just wasn't right. ready for most of this stuff. Right. Well, brother, I appreciate you jumping on here with me, man. Appreciate you. What's going on, man? You're here live with John Liquid there. Hey, what's going on, man? Um, I want to say something, man. I'm, I'm looking at the whole situation with Kamani, man. I see he did a couple things before, but – I don't know, you know, like I like the guy said before, man. I don't know if it was such a big league. You know, true enough, his name was a good name and stuff, but you know, Carmani needed a little more development, man. You know, and maybe a lot of some of those options, you know, when he went to um, you know, when they had the thing for him with Miami and Florida State and all that stuff. Maybe yeah. I don't know, maybe the development there might have been a little stronger, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, with Coach Prime, I see Coach Prime out on the field, but you know, I see him coaching some of the, you know, with the well-off media. I see him coaching some of the DBs sometimes, but it is not him all the time. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe, you know, it might be a little more development, uh, let it be a little stronger there at Colorado. You know what I'm saying? So it could be just something like that. Maybe he just needs some strength because he's not a, you know, he's not a super strong player. He was underweight. He was on, under height. You know what I'm saying? So there's a couple of different things that we could go at. But, you know, Kamani is probably a great, uh, great player, you know, sometime in the future. And, you know, it seems like Prime pulls everybody from the portal anyway. He pulls the strongest players, and it seems like those guys are coming in and those guys are getting positions, you know. I expected to see the offense. People talking about the offense left, the offensive player that left yesterday. I expected yeah. that to happen, you know what I'm saying, because don't nobody want to sit behind nobody for two and three years, at least not in the NIL area. So, you know, that's what it was, you know. I just want to put my little piece out there, though. Well, brother, I appreciate you. All I appreciate right, you awesome. jumping on here with me, man. Shout out to you. This guy been back here for a while. Hello? Hello? All right, move on to the next verse. What's going on? You're on here live with John Liquid there. Hey, what's up, John? This is Cole, man, out of Houston, Texas. Shout out to Texas in the building, man. Yeah, what's up, bro? Hey, my, my take on Kamali, man, he's doing what's best for him. Um, I don't think he ever got got involved with Colorado. You just look at his – he seems so standoffish with the team, and, and it's just, you know, he's not used to all that. That hoorah, 
You know, I, I, it's my opinion. I think he served him best going somewhere else, and I, and he would he would strive strive wherever he goes. It's just Colorado right. wasn't for him, man. You know, too much media and and prime time hype. You know, right. people can't, some people can't excel in that situation. You know, so man, hats off to him, man. I'm I'm glad he's booking up. You know, maybe find his yeah. new home somewhere where he can where he can thrive at. That's all I gotta say, bro. And keep up your good work, man. I appreciate you, brother. All right. Juju, are you still down in the chat? Juju, I'm going to bring you up. My dog. What's up, dog? Nothing much, man, guys. This is Juju Sports, one of the best agents in the country. Man, it's a bad day, ain't it, man? Yeah. Yeah, dog. You know, we – I'm – I don't do a lot of talking. I listen, but don't nobody know the situation, you know? Yeah, and that's and that's what I've been trying to say. The only thing we supposed to do is being uh, older, older, older. You just let's pray for him and his family, man. Just wish him the best, you know, success, you know? Because we don't yeah. know what the situation may be. You no. know? That's one thing about that you're going to, like I heard the guy was trying to bash, you know, you know, I'm glad you cut him off. Because you don't, you, you don't, it, it's certain stuff you don't do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like I said, we don't know the situation, bro. You keep on doing a great job of what you're doing. You know, like like you said earlier, you know, we knew what was coming, you know? We knew what was about to happen. We didn't believe it, but, you know? Yeah, yeah. But what it is, man, you know, like I said, more power to him. You know, I know he's going to be a, a, a guy, but you got to look at this. Coach got standards, man. He got principle. Yeah. You know, you know, he, you know that's, just how, that's just how it go. Like, again, we don't know what happened. But like I was on another channel, somebody hit me up. He's he was live on another station, you know, and they would do with bashing him, talking about him. Oh man, block. you don't do that, man. You don't do that to him. Nah. You don't do that, bro. Nah. But like I said, man, you keep on doing what you do. Ain't gonna hold you up. Go ahead, bro. Much love. You know, you already know much love. You know, we're gonna chop it up when we get out there in Boulder, you know. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah, definitely. Here, man. Shout out Where's to Juju, up, man. Juju Sports, uh, guys. Yeah. Give him a follow on Twitter. I'm telling you, man, he representing the future, guys. Some of the best athletes in the country is in his agency. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, dog. Yeah, man. And, like, that's what I was saying, guys. We can't be bashing Kermani, bro. You know, uh, big prayers out to his family. And, uh, yeah, man, um, it's still just a tough day. This is This is just a tough day. This I will forever remember the day Cormani hit the portal, bro. Like, this is crazy. Let me get somebody else on up here. How you doing? I'm pretty good, man. How you My feel name's... about the Cormani situation? Well, you know, uh, uh, here's how what I feel as far as like this. If Travis Hunter jumped in the portal, I'd be devastated. But Cormani, no, you know, he's I was uh, the potential is, is always there. Yeah, he's a five star. Uh, we all know that, but being a five star in high school, like you well are well aware, doesn't doesn't necessarily translate to being a five star or a great player in college. So, uh, Cormani, I wish him all the best in the world. You know what I mean? He's, he's still a young man. It still seems like a lot is still uh, what the report since from seeing your channel and other uh, well off media and reach the people. There's probably a little immaturity uh, that was going on with the young man. And and the thing is this, very simple. Uh, when a young person puts himself in a position to succeed, they have to put in the work. And if you don't put it, you can put it on some of the work, but do you really want it? You got to really want to be where you want to go. So put it this right. way. If I'm a quarterback and Tom Brady's teaching me, I'm taking every little nugget that possibly that I can sponge up. Deion Sanders is the best cornerback that ever played the game. Facts. For him not to take advantage of that opportunity, is it more than football? We don't know that like you were saying, 100%. But the thing is yeah. this, Cormani showed up late, What didn't come in shape, he played. So all of a sudden the coaches, you know, like you guys were saying, and listening to a lot of people on your program saying how, you know, Coach Prime, and I've been following Coach Prime for years. And one thing he does, the standard is the standard. So what he's doing yeah. is preparing these young people for professional sports, if that's your aspiration to get there. So if you're not going to study in college, what is the expectations to try to go to pro? Because right. and, 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 and pro ball or pro any, any pro sport, somebody's there to take your job every day. Right. So with Cromartie, losing Cromartie, uh, yeah, you know, it's it's uh, it's sad that it didn't turn out. You know what I mean? But the, at, the, at the end of the day, 
he's seen the writing on the wall for the players that are coming in. Uh, I see the, the other guy just before was talking about coach really not really coaching the DBs. Yeah, he coaches up the D- DBs. We only see what we see. Kevin exactly. Matthews, Kevin Matthews is a great DB coach. You know, so the thing is, and you've seen last year, there was highlights last year or sh- uh, shown that were coaches saying, Kriarty, get lower, get lower, get lower. Sometimes with young people, the, wor- the worst enemy is themselves. So you can't come in, because you're a five-star or, or in a different sport, you're a high draft pick, you can't have that sense of entitlement. you got to have that sense of maybe, you know what, I am not that guy until I prove that I am that guy. Right. Well, sir, I appreciate you checking in with me, man. Yeah, I'm from Canada, so I'll let you just, just let you know. Shout out to Canada. <laughs> Shout out to Canada, man. I appreciate you, Doc. What's going on? You're here live with John Liquidator, man. How you, how you doing, brother? Hey, what's what's up, John, man? First of all, man, uh, my name is DeAndre Campbell, man. I'm from St. Louis. I'm from the Lou, man. So ah, I'm on the security. From the Lou, man. Hey, man, let me tell you something, man. I man, I, I watch your stuff every day, man. Me and my co-worker, and yeah. I, I love you saying we got to take it all the way to Boulder, yeah. baby. Yeah, oh yeah, man. You know the vibes, man. We got to go all the way out, up man. to Boulder. I'm a, I'm a coach, man. I've been coaching, man, 24 years of high school football, man. I've been a head Where coach. Where you uh, coach at? Uh, well, right now I'm idle. I'm, I'm taking a break because my daughter's in college, man. But I've been yeah. at, man, Live for Life Academy, Trinity, okay. man. I've been at almost every uh, uh school in St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But um, but here's the thing, man. I'm gonna say this about Komardi. First of all, I want to wish him well, him and his family. You know what I'm saying, man. He's a uh, he's a young kid, man. You know what I'm saying. And just because you're a five star man, when you get to college, man, like you know, John, yeah. it's totally different. Yeah, it's totally yeah, different, it man. Is, and, it is. and I watched Komardi in high school. I watched his highlights. I watched his development. I said, even when he when he went to Boulder, I said he's gonna need a little bit more time. You know what I'm saying? Because when you talk about five star. Usually those five stars, they come in right away and they get busy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I just think he's gonna need a he gonna need a little bit more development. And, and and here's the thing, man. Thank God for the portal. You know what I'm saying? Cause with the portal, yeah. man, you get to go to a new atmosphere, man, new coaches, and you might get that fire. Somebody might be able to light it. You know what I'm saying? But I think he's gonna be well, you know what I'm saying? But he's gonna need a lot more development. Yeah. Well, brother, yep. I appreciate you checking in with me, man. And definitely shout out to my city, St. Louis, Missouri, man. For those of you guys who might not know, I'm from St. Louis. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. I saw, man. Oh, oh, so you know everything. Oh, man, you shoot, man. You know I'm everything. I'm from the south me. side. Yeah, man. Yeah. I done, man, I done coached in Live for Life, Trinity, man, Cleveland, Beaumont. Man, I done coached oh, everywhere, wow. man. But, yep. uh, yeah, bro, if you ever see me out in traffic, say something, man. We can definitely Oh, no doubt about it, man. You already know. We from the loop, baby. Yes, shout out to you, brother. I appreciate you. Right. What's going on? You're on here live with John Liquidator. What's going on with it, John? How you doing, bro? I'm doing pretty good, man. You sound a little staticky, just a little bit. Uh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Can you hear me now? You still sound a little, a little, a little, a little dodgy. Hello. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah, yeah, I'm here now. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, though. Yeah, I, yeah, I see Cremona hit that portal, man. Yeah. I'm still static in it, bro. I'm still static in it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, excuse me, man. Can I, uh, I'm going to uh, let you go and then bring you back. All right. What's going on, man? You on here with John the Liquidator. Yeah, what's good, Joe? Hey, how you doing, man? And so, what is what is uh, your thoughts about Kermani? Yeah, I was a big fan of Kermani. Uh, like I said, I think uh, it's more so the mental aspect of him being disciplined to be lo- fully locked in. If you understand yeah. what I mean, the, having the having the natural ability and the natural talent, it is there, no yeah. doubt. Like you say, you're a big up the John Liquidator, 242 all the way from the Bahamas. We in the island. The Bahamas in the building. We've been, we been locking with you from day one, but uh, rocking with you. Man, so not I a thing. appreciate you, man. But like I, I say, y'all, come on, the talent is there. It's just the the the, the, the mental discipline. A factor, I think, is not there. And I kind of think he kind of get kind of a little intimidated by the other dogs coming in. 
Because you got some guys who, are, who might not be a three star, have a chip on their shoulder, who might not be even a five star, yeah. be a three star, two star. They have a chip on their shoulder, they have a lot to prove. Simple as even Tom Brady. Tom Brady was in uh, a drafted as a five star, coming out of college, going into the NFL. But at right. the end of the day, we had a lot to prove. See, you got to have that, that, that the desire, the passion, and the hunger on you. That's why Coach Prime obviously say that. Who won it? And right. you got guys and they're fighting to take your spot. You can't afford the slipper. Not 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 checking, not reading film, not coming to practice on time, not going to class, not locking in. All these things, that's a mental thing. If you yeah, mentally definitely. focus and you lock in, trust me, nothing can deter you from what you gotta do. You can bring a horse to the well, but you can't force the horse to drink. Oh, drink it, yeah, exactly. So those I wish are the wish Kamani is walking with him. Still one of my favorites. I still can follow him. I wish him all the best in all his endeavors. I hope he take it to the next level. I hope he really lock in and get serious, man. Me too, brother. Me too. Me too. I appreciate you, man. Shout out to the uh, Bahamas, man. Bahamas. Yeah, John. Appreciate you. Bring up my dog. What's going on, brother? <laughs> Man, I, I'm disappointed. Like everything, man. Uh, you know, I like you know, you know how I feel about the team and the helmet, the uniform, and yeah, everything like that and uh, like I, it's it's, it's it, to me, it's don't want to be coached. There's no way that yeah. you can't want to be learned from the goat. That's like learning from Michael Jordan or any any great player. You you know, you, it's a it, it's a maturity thing that's gonna. It, it, he gotta get. He just, he just has to mature. Uh, his talent is there. His right. one is there, but at the same time, a lot of people got to remember he only played two years at cornerback, so it's a learning. Right. At the same time, he played all through uh, youth league as a wide receiver until the sophomore year when he switched over because I didn't even him. think about that. But yeah, you're exactly right, bro. So he has to learn, and uh, you know, I'm not going to say that Coach Prime coached him hard because Coach Prime came from hard coaching back in the day. It's hard coaching, and at the school, uh, you're going to have uh, you got NFL guys there now. So right. the guys and recruits want to come to Colorado, they got to understand you're getting NFL coaching. You're, you're going to get an NFL coaching tree. You're not going to be coddled. You're not going to be treated as a child. Right. You're getting NIL money. You're a semi-professional. So they're going to treat you as such. That's just to get them prepared. Um, I'm going to tell you something, man. My mom told me a long time ago I wanted to transfer high schools, right? My mom said, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to take you out of that school. You're going to – you're going to – um." Go here because you go to school to learn, not to be like right. to learn. And I understood that growing up as a man, I was like, mom was right. I'm here to get it, not to run from it. I'm not saying Kamani's running from it, but I'm just saying. Yeah. It's, it's just sad to see that it's, it's a lack of, it's a lack of, for, it's sad for me to hear about the tweet. It's sad for me to uh, hear about his response. Um. His mom says some stuff on Twitter, and uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, man. But mm -hmm. like people, like y'all got to realize, man. Everybody is entitled to their opinions. Exactly. You know, um, we can't be all like she shouldn't have. If that's how she yeah. felt, that's how she yeah. felt. That, exactly. That's why I say it was just sad to hear it. But I was just like, wow, I was just sad to hear it. You I, know. I, 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 I don't know, but uh, I wanted to see him do good. Uh, you know, I had his back. I liked him a lot. I still like him a lot. It's yeah. Like, I wish him the best. There's no knock on his game. Um, he just like I, it's just a maturity thing. He's just got to grow up and want it. Um, what's what would have hurt the most, in my opinion, because you you we've seen it so many times with the NFL draft how uh, an an anonymous source said, and you didn't want to learn from the goat. That's gonna hurt. Because Prime is NFL royalty. Coach Prime is NFL royalty. So, and so with that being said, I, I asked somebody else this, and I want to ask you this same question too, man. Do you think this will hurt his draft stock? Yes. Tremendously. Yes. It, it, like, listen. Like, the boy from Iowa just said, no, I'm going back to 
Alabama. Yo, you, be, you better. It's right. gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot, a lot. Like they're gonna say he has to win the Jim Thorpe Award. He has to have like at least ten interceptions, something in the year, just to have a, a like an unquestionable year where it can be like, okay, well, it was maybe something else. But if he just has only four or five interceptions, the, the immaturity, the question marks will come because they're going to say, well, he transferred from yeah. Colorado and they're going to, they, they'll get him at a cheaper price. They do that. They'll, they'll draft him in the fourth round. It's, it's sometimes these, I think these kids got to understand it's bigger than uh, what they really realize. Like he signed on yeah. the Coach Prime. He, he, like that was like Prime is, to me, he's Jackie Robinson. He's Babe Ruth. He's yeah. Muhammad Ali. He's he's Michael Jordan. He's in the stratosphere of all time great athletes. And you're with him, and then you leave him, and it, it, you don't want to take the coaching. He's gonna go wherever he wants to go, right? And I'm gonna let you go, but he's gonna go wherever he wants to go. And the coaches are saying, "Yeah, come with me, come with me." But they're gonna coach him that much harder because they know he quit on Coach Prime. And at the end of the day, they got respect. All these coaches got respect for Coach Prime because they yeah. know. He paid his price. He did what he had to do. He comes yeah. to Bobby Bowden's coaching tree. Bobby Bowden's a coaching legend icon down there in Florida. Man, Kamani, you rolling them dice. Good luck to you. And I'm out, John, man. I appreciate you, man. Go Buffs, man. Die hard since 89. I just can't believe it. Sad day for me personally, but it is what it is. I'm going to holler, Yeah, bro. definitely. Right. Definitely, 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 man. So a lot of people want to know. Um, what Carmani mom actually said on Twitter. Um, I'm going to read off to you guys real quick what she said real quick, man. This is this is just a tough, tough day, man. So Carmani mom said a few hours ago, got to be somewhere where you're appreciated, not just tolerated. God, take the lead. We right behind you. That is what um, she has said. And uh yeah, man, this is this is this is just a tough day. This is this is this is just a tough, 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 tough day, man. And um yeah, man. It truly, truly is. How y'all feel about everything down in the chat, man? Get uh down in the chat right now. Let me know how you guys feel, man. Man, y'all crying and Kermani went on Twitter. Space it does not. Oh wow, Carmani went on spaces. He went on spaces. No way, he did. He went on Twitter spaces. No, he didn't, bro. Hold on, somebody just sent me this. Hold on, real quick. Hold on. What is this? Uh, uh, hold on whoa 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 carmani went on twitter spaces and like people got the whoa 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 carmani bro jump on here bro come on here look carmani if you go on twitter space bro you come over and speak john liquidator bro Come holler at John Liquidator, bro. Hold on, guys. Give me a quick second. I want to see. I can't play it, y'all, because it got too much cursing in it. Hold on. Let me see if I can get Carmani to come on a to come on a chat. Hold on. Hold on, real quick, guys. Let me see something real quick. Hold on. Hold on real quick, guys. I'm trying to see if I can get Carmani to come on here. I didn't know that he went on spaces. Hold on. Hold on one second. Trying to see if he want to come on here real quick.
All right, y'all. Hold on. I'm trying to see. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to see if I can get Carmani to pull up on this live. Let me see, bro. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Give me a quick second. I'm trying to see if I can get Carmani to get up on this live real quick. I'm trying to see. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm not going to let it play. It's, it's just too much cursing. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Kermont, look. Hold on, guys. Give me a quick second. I got to make some phone calls real quick because I did not know he went on Twitter spaces. Give me a quick second. I'll be right back. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Carmine, hold on, bro. I'm going to drop a link. Look, Carmine, if you see the link, hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. I dropped the link down in the chat. The link is in the chat. Hold on, guys. Look. And so for those of you guys who just now joined Kermani went on spaces. I'm trying to get him on a channel. I'm trying to get him to come on this live. They said, I don't have a press pass, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have a press pass. I'm trying to see, will he do it, bro? I'm trying to see. Will he jump on the channel, bro? Will he do it? He went on spaces. He went on spaces, bro. I just want to ask him a couple questions. I just, you, you know, I just, I just want to ask him a couple questions, bro. Come on, come on, karate, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Right, bro. He ain't on the team no more, bro. He ain't on the team. He can talk to John Liquidator. Hold on, bro. I'm trying to see, bro. Hold on. Look, look, guys. I'm trying to get Carmine to come on here. Hold up. Hold up. Exactly. John is liquidating. I am liquidating. Carmine, bro. Jump on here, bro. Jump on here, bro. Jump on the live, bro. You went on spaces. You went on spaces, bro. Jump on here with John. Look, everybody spam. Everybody spam. Carmine, jump on John Liquidator live. Jump on the live, bro. Go spam him. Jump on the live, bro. You went on spaces. Come on on here. Holler at your boy John Liquidator. 
Hold on. Hold on. What is they saying? Hold on. Bro, I just want to ask him a couple questions. Look, bro, bump, bump, bump what you talking about, bro. He went on spaces. So by him going on spaces, that means that he's open to talking. He open to talking, bro. Come talk John Liquidator. Come talk John Liquidator. Bro, he went on spaces, bro. He he went on spaces. I I just want to ask him a couple questions, bro. He he went on spaces and said what he had to say. Now I can't play the space because it's a lot of cursing in there. It's a lot of cursing. It's a lot of cursing on there, but he went on spaces. And I just want to know if he's gonna come in here now. I'm talking to people now. And they haven't wrote me back yet. So I'm trying to see, is she going to come on here, bro? Come on, bro. Come on, Carmani, bro. Come on, bro. He went on spaces. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Hold on. I'm trying to see. Okay, I got to I got to I got to pay attention to everything that's going on at at the bottom because if he pop up, I want to instantly get him on here. I I just want to see. Because he went on spaces. Until I figure out if I'm going to get him on here, I'm going to bring somebody else on real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on, Juju? Can you uh, hear me? Oh, no, John. I was just, I had long down. I'm just getting back in. You go ahead and do your thing. All right. All right. And so, guys, I'm trying to look to see if Cormani going to come on here. Do your thing, big dog. Do your thing. And so, you you don't want to be on here either? I'll be on here, but if you're going to put him on, put him on. I'm trying. I'm trying to get him on, bro. Hello. Nah, not me. He said. He said. He said. No, not me. Y'all scared, guys. I can't play that spaces. It's. It's just. It's just. It's just way too much cursing on there. I'm trying to see if Carmani's gonna come in here. I'm talking right now. Hold on. Give me. Look, guys. Y'all seeing me work live? I'm working live right now. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I took myself off. Hold on, hold on. So I got to keep putting this link down here. I'm trying to see if Cormani's going to come on here. Let me see. Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. All right. Until I hear back from his team. Hold on. Who it is? 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 Hold on. What's going on? You're live, John Liquidator. Hello? Hello? You gone, dog. You gone, dog. Hold on, guys. I'm working. I'm working right as we speak. See, I can't play that spaces because it's just... Hold on. That is a good idea to pin it. Let me pin this link on here real quick, guys. Give me a quick second here. Sorry if the show got kind of dry, y'all. Hold on. 
Hold on real quick. I'm trying to do something, bro. I'm trying to get Carmani to come on here. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see if I can click on that. Uh, all right. All right. All right, guys. And so, as of right now, they quit writing me back. I just got to keep it real. They, they, they quit writing me back. They quit uh, writing me back. So, as of right now, I don't have any information about him coming on here, bro. So, we just going to move forward with the uh, live chat. Um, I'm going to keep bringing up people, asking y'all what y'all think about Kermani McClain leaving, and we're just going to move on with the show until I hear back, until I hear something back. But since we on here, I want to play, I want to play one of uh, my favorite videos. Who, who is, who is this? Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know who he is. Hold on, give me a quick second here. I want to play some for y'all real quick. Give me a quick second here. This is right here. Give me a quick second here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm trying to play the moment. What do you got here? And I didn't make so many videos, man. I can't find it. Oh, well, I can't find it, man. I can't find it, guys. What y'all saying down in the chat? Yo, John, pin the spaces on your X page. I would like to hear that. I share it. I share it. He probably just wasn't comfortable on there. What's the spaces link? I share it, guys. I share it on my Twitter account. And so, for those of you guys who just now um, joining, I'm getting word that Cromani McClain did appear on Spaces. Um, I've been trying to get him to come on a channel. I don't believe he's going to come on a channel. He did appear on Spaces tonight. And, um, yeah, bro, I haven't heard the Spaces. Um, so, I don't know definitively what he said on there. All I'm knowing is that he went on spaces and um he spoke on spaces and it's kind of a lot of cursing on there. So I like I can't play it on YouTube because it's a lot of cursing, but I will go on my Twitter account. You guys can follow my Twitter right there. I will pin the spaces on my Twitter account so you guys could uh listen to it. But uh yeah, man, I've been inboxing his team. It doesn't seem like he want to come on the channel. Um, I haven't heard anything back, and uh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. I've been trying to get him to come on the channel. Doesn't seem like he want to come on the channel. So uh, we're going to move forward, bro. We're we're going to move forward. I've been uh, texting this team, and they haven't said anything. I got somebody else that just pulled up. Give me a quick second. Let me bring this gentleman up here. What's going on, man? Not much, right? I'm pretty good, man. I'm uh pretty good. How you feel about the Cormani situation? 
Man, it's like I'm surprised, but I'm not at the same time. Because okay. the reason I say that I'm surprised is because, I mean, there's been speculation about him transferring for a while. And, right. uh, you know, but then, you know, he would always combat it by saying that, you know, he wasn't going to transfer and that, you know, he would be back on the field and then he would show training videos that he would do. Right. And, and so I was like, okay, so maybe he's not going anywhere. Maybe it's just false news. But the reason also, too, why I'm not as surprised is because I started to notice during the winter transfer portal period, uh, Colorado had started, you know, uh, landing a lot of uh, cornerbacks. And then that's when I was right. like, okay, maybe they, they're they trying to, you know, kind of stock up in case they lose somebody. Right. So that's why I was lucky not as surprised, too. Yeah, man, um, I'm stunned, bro. I'm stunned, and um, I'm just kind of lost for words about the whole thing, man. Um, I were, I wasn't expecting him to hit the portal. Um, reports, like people was telling me that, hey, John, man, I'm getting worried that Kermani might leave. Kermani might leave for like a while, they was telling me that. And um, I thought it was cap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was all cap. You know, um. Yeah. And it wasn't cap, bro. He left, so it is what it is. Um, I'm trying to get him to come on the channel. Yeah, for sure. Cause I, I you know, it'd be nice if he could just let us know, so there'll be no more speculation. Yeah. So he he went on Spaces, mm. and um, he went on Twitter Spaces. I like I haven't heard it yet because I've been here live with you guys. Yeah. Um, I wanted him to come on the channel. Yeah, for sure. Cause man, I did want to. I did want to see him develop at Colorado. Yeah. You know, under Coach Prime, just to you know, cause like you said, that was building the buzz at Colorado. Cause that was the first big player, other than you know when uh, Coach Prime landed Travis at at JSU. Uh, that was the biggest uh, player that Colorado had landed. So it was a you know it was a good note for the program, and it was showing that the program was headed in in the right direction. So now that yeah, now that Colorado was losing them. You know, like you said, it's gonna be a lot of bad press about what Coach Prime is. Oh doing. yeah, yeah, about what Coach Prime is doing with the program that drove him off and different stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, man. And like another thing is like the reason I wanted him to come on here because I wanted him to clear the air. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. so many people is gonna have speculations about why you left, why you decided to leave. Like just just clear the air, bro. Right. And especially after you said you weren't, you know. Yeah. So yeah, it was just it would be great for him to get on and just, or at least even if he don't, even if he don't get on, just like at least make some type of video or something. Because right. you know, he, with his YouTube or either on uh, his Instagram page about what led up to that decision. Because even if he don't answer it now, most likely somebody in the press is going to ask him. Yeah. 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 Well, Wait, brother, man. I appreciate you jumping on here with me, man. Most definitely, man. I appreciate you, and I love your content, man. Shout out to you, man. So, guys, I haven't heard anything back from Kermani team. Um, at this point, I don't believe he want to come on here. You know, I just, I just got to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think he want to come on here. But um, we got to keep Kermani and his family lifted up in prayers. Um, I, it's just a tough, tough, tough situation. Um, it's just a tough situation, especially being Colorado Buffalo fans, man. Um, I've been covering Kermani, like I stated earlier, for almost two years. Um, I met him quite a few times, got chopped up with his mom, um, his sister. And um, I just want to wish all of them nothing but the best moving forward. You know, um, it's it's just unfortunate to see him leave, you know, the team we all root for, the team we all love to see. but. We can't not root for Kramani just because he left, you know. Like I stated, I'm gonna still make videos on him, I'm gonna still, you know, report on him. Um, it's just crazy, man. You know, it's just it's just real, real, real crazy that uh he's not on the team no more. He's not a Colorado Buffalo. So, like, it's just it's just gonna be weird moving forward, you know. Like, I can't be the only one that feel like that, you know what I'm saying? Like like just moving forward, how weird it's going to be not to see Carmani 
out there or not to see or hear anything from him, you know, but I, I want you guys to still support him, still watch his YouTube videos. And uh yeah, man. Somebody else just uh jumped in here. Let me see who this is. What's going on, man? You don't hear John Liquidator. Hello? 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 He was on mute. What's what's going on, man? You you in here with John the uh, liquidator? Peace, bro. Uh, that young man needs to you know left to to be on his own to go do his thing. He's no longer a buff, and let it be that. You know we can't we can't control someone's decisions. It's clear that his mom is coddling him by what she said on Twitter. Um, it's no it's not going to be in development. I don't care. He could play for Don Shula. Um, but if, if you're being coddled at home and you're not being urged to take personal responsibility and accountability, it's not going to work no matter where you land. Y'all be easy out there. Peace. Yeah, you, man. What's going on, man? You're on here live with John the Liquidator. What's the word? What's the word? What's um, going on, man? How you feel about the Cormani situation? Man, that shocked everybody. But, um, like they said, though, you know what I mean? He should have stayed and tried to develop. But if he felt like, you know what I mean, he wanted to go somewhere else for a fresh start, you know what I mean? That's that man life, you know? He still yeah. got all the potential in the world, but, you know, he might want to be close to home or whatever, you know? He might go back to – he might go to USF with him coach, yeah. BVD, the one that recruited him at Miami. Yeah, we just yeah. Gonna, we just going to have to see. I mean, it ain't over for him. Yeah. Yeah, bro, just and um, yeah. As far as Colorado, man, I you know what I mean. It's it's like what it's like what have they done to get better since last year? Besides, get two offensive linemen from Indiana, you know. So I'm I'm, I'm interested to see the season this year, but I don't see no major changes that happen with the roster. Yeah, you know? but um, are you gonna post the link to what happened on on the spaces? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, post it for you guys. All right, bro. Be easy. Appreciate All it. All right. What's going on? You're here live with John and Liquidator. What's going on, brother? How you doing? I'm doing, man. Yeah, I understand completely, brother. So, um, it is unfortunate and everything, but, hey, it's the next man up, bro. You know, we can't yeah. coddle a young man. He has to make his own decisions. But we brought in a lot of great transfers. We done did a lot over this last couple of months. So even with him leaving, like, we might end up, you know, we'll lose on some talent. But overall, we still will be really, really, really good. So it's at his discretion about how he wants to go about it. But if he doesn't change his act, it's going to be the same situation over and over again, no matter where he goes. Yeah. Yeah, man. I know you're feeling it right now, John. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to see. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to watch my stuff to see if he's going to come on here. Yeah, man. It's much love to him. I really want him to do well. It's at, like you know, there's never any any ill will or any any you know resentment towards him. It's just hey, at the end of the day, you got to make your choice. But if you feel like leaving Coach Prime, the best DB to ever play. Yeah, is conducive for you in your career, then hey, by all means, brother, do whatever you feel is necessary. But at the end of the day, we'll still support you, we'll still show love to you and everything. But if his mama is coddling him and doing all the extra stuff where you know it seems like she's just pampering him as a kid, hey man, watch somebody grow. He's he gonna get a real grown awakening real soon, right? Well, brother, I appreciate you jumping on here, man. Likewise, brother. You take it easy, man. All right. What's going on, man? I got you uh, back up. Up he gone. But, uh, yeah, guys. And so, as of right now, man, those of you guys who just now joining this official Colorado Buffaloes, five-star cornerback, Hermione McClain, has entered the NCAA transfer portal. And, uh, yeah, man, it's crazy, bro. Somebody's name is Cry Me a River. 
What's going on, man? You don't hear me, John Liquidator. Hey, Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah, got you. We don't need them, man. We don't need them, man. I can't hear you, man. You kind of breaking up on me. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I see you kind yeah, of breaking man, up on me, bro. Can, can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got you now. I said, man, we don't need them, man. We got two DBs, Preston Hodge, yeah, DJ McKinney, and we got a, uh, another DB that's supposed to be coming from a D2 school. Man, we don't need them, man. It's too much drama around his name, bro. Yeah. And we signed Ben uh, Bozy too. We uh, can't forget about Ben and Ben uh, Bozy. Come on now. And, and then you coaching under the Coach Prime, bro. Like, I mean, like, it's we good, bro. Trust, we good. It's going to get better over time. We got so much time until game one. We're good, bro. We don't need them, bro. Right. That's it's just a crazy, say. crazy day, dog. I can't even lie, man. This one, this, this, this day right here is is, is for the record books. This is a legendary live, bro. You can't, you can't beat yourself up about it, though, bro. Like you know, what I'm I just I didn't he, think he was gonna leave, bro. He said he wasn't gonna leave, bro. I know, man. I didn't want him to leave either. I feel like he was gonna be like potential, like somewhere close to like a Travis Hunter as a DB, but it's like. Bro, like when you got so much drama around your name, it's like you getting coached on the old school guy that's one of the best DBs in the league that ever played the game. So if he feel like right. it's, you know, something around that that's like fucking you up, man, it's time to go. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. man. Well, brother, I appreciate you jumping on here with me, man. All right, man. Appreciate you. Just a crazy, crazy day, guys. Been on live nearly two and a half hours. I never go live. This was an emergency live. Shout out to everybody that uh showed up on the live. Shout out to everybody that watch all the videos. And uh yeah, man, it is what it is, man. If anybody else want to jump on here real quick, you can. Gramani, you can still come on, bro. <laughs> you know. Oh man. But uh, if anybody else want to jump on here real quick, I'll take like one or two more people. Other than that, I'm going to head up out of here, man. Go back in my turtle shell and do what I do. But, man, I uh, wanted to come on here to uh, talk about this story live with y'all, man. To uh, talk about this story live. Uh, get you guys' opinions about everything that has transpired with five-star cornerback Kermani McClain. Um, thank you, like I said, to each and everybody that pulled up on the live. I will be in Colorado for the Black and Gold Spring game. So if you guys see me, say something, man. I ain't hard to find. But, uh, yeah, man, um, I'm wishing Carmani and his family, like I said, nothing but the best. Keep them lifted up in prayers. Shout out to each and everybody. Up, oh, somebody jumped on. Let me, let me see what he said. What's uh, going on, bro? Hey, listen. First of all, don't feel so bad, John. You've been doing a great job the last year, this year. Yeah. Um, you, you can only do so much. These, yeah. I get tired of people always, you know, I was on my own at 15. Half the people that built this country, people, whether they are enslaved or not, you know, they were, they were, had to be men at even as low as 15, you know. Yeah parents got shot by the Indians or, or, you know, dad died of a heart attack. They had to raise whole family. I get tired of people saying these are kids. These are grown men. They're lucky that they have the skills to play football and they're getting a free education. And, and a lot of them go on and do great things just because you're a five star. Right. Look at Marinovich. It happened, you know? Yeah. And if, you know, God bless him and his family, hopefully he does better. Maybe that one guy that he kind of cut off, I think what he was trying to say is maybe the kid. I lost you, man. I'm losing you, brother. Football. Maybe he wants to. And then some other guy got on. I'm losing you, man. 
I'm 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 losing you, man. All right, bro, I gotta go. But uh, yeah, guys. So I'm gonna still work on possibly getting an interview with Kermani. I'm gonna reach out to his team, look and see if he wanna, you know, come on the channel, say his piece, or you know what I'm saying. I don't know, bro. Like this whole situation is crazy, bro. Um, I'm gonna try to get him on the channel. But you guys can go on Twitter. I'm going to pin the spaces on my Twitter account and uh, just go from there, man. Uh, I just want to let you guys know this is not the end all be all with the Colorado Buffaloes. We got to look forward to the 2024 season. We got other dogs on the team. This is just a day that will live on. And uh, we just got to move past today, get ready for tomorrow. We got a 2024 season to worry about. Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes got history to make. And, uh, yeah, man, like it's just a tough day. But we got to move on, man. We just we just got to move on. It's just next man up. And uh, we just going to go from there. But it's been fun. It's been real. It's your boy, John the Liquidator, man. Checking out of here with another live. And y'all already know how I'm rocking, baby. Shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out.